So now there are currently 200 people sitting in a chat room on a live that I'm not on. <laughs> All right, that was not annoying in the slightest. <laughs> so here's what went on. In order to schedule a live on YouTube, you do it like you'd normally do it. Like you hit the plus button for a post, you tell it when you want to do the live, you schedule it out and everything. And then when it starts to go live, does not do that automatically. And then it gives you no way to just start the live. So it made me create a brand new live in another completely different room. <laughs> so I have no idea what that was all about. I'm going to have, I can't believe I have to research how to use the simplest app in the world. <laughs> Yeah, we got 217 people in here now. That was unbelievably annoying. That was the most convoluted thing. Yeah, I'm definitely stressing now. I get, I get angry when apps don't do the thing that they're supposed to do. Imagine me with a printer. Because printers were invented in like 1822, and they still don't make printers that print. It's like, can I just connect to the printer and print something? And they're like, nope. You'll print when we say you can print. We're going to assume that you don't need to print anything, even though you're telling us to. We should have uh, Jason and Adrian stopping by at some point. I told them I was going to stop. Um... I told them I was going to start around noon and then they could stop in just kind of whenever they wanted to because I'm going to do this for a while today. Oh, I also looked, um, I looked to see how to do the slow motion thing. John, thank you. I appreciate that. Filth should be here uh, soon. Um, hopefully. Otherwise, he's getting this elbow sun. Uh. Also, basically, this, this live is just about my new shirt. <laughs> it, it's a sweet shirt. And we're, we're going to be talking for roughly about seven hours about how sweet my shirt is. Here, I'll, I'll let you take it all in. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. So slow mode. Uh, I looked into slow mode on, on chat. And the only thing it allows me to do is limit how many times somebody can post within a certain amount of seconds, which doesn't really help me at all. All it does is just limit people on posting, but I don't really have people who like post a whole bunch back to back. Thank you. I got a couple new shirts last night. I wanted to get some new pants. This is interesting information for a live, by the way, but I found two pairs of pants that I loved and Coles thinks that all men are five foot nine. And so all of the uh, lengths of the pants are like the most they've got is 30 and I have to have 34. And so they're like, no, those people don't exist. It's not like I'm abnormally tall. <coughs> you shut your dog face. You shut your dog beak. Doug just got here. So. What's my, oh, thank you, Sherry. What's my favorite TV show or streaming show? I, here's a weird thing. I don't watch TV anymore. I, it gives me like anxiety. But if I had to say, I could list some all time favorites, uh, House, Scrubs, um, Psych, What's some of the ones we used to watch all the time? Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> uh, Kids in the Hall. Yeah, Kids in the Hall is awesome. Cops. <laughs> yeah, we watched lots of Cops and we watched Judge Judy. Just because we're old. Pretty much if there's a chance of someone getting tased, I like watching <laughs> that show. So, in fact, I was thinking about tasing Adrian later just to have some, uh, some interesting action in the, the live. <laughs> 
Righteous yeah, gemstones. Yeah, Mystery Science Theater 3000, uh, Righteous Gemstones, pretty much anything with Danny McBride in it is automatically funny. I'm wearing the shirt of a monkey getting a haircut. <laughs> nice. I should have wore um, one of my shirts that I sell and then just became a complete sellout. I want, we ordered the new joke one. It's the definition of the word joke. And I've been waiting for it to come in because I want to wear that on like all my cleaning stuff. Uh, someone asked a little bit ago <clears throat> if I'd ever considered doing a live cleaning. <clears throat> Pardon me, my throat's really dry today. Um, I considered it, but it wouldn't be interactive. So, I mean, it would be people watching me kind of shuffle around a room. I may do it someday just for the heck of it because you never know how bored people can get. <laughs> people keep saying hi, I don't want to interrupt. You can grab the other the chair from it. Oh, like one of those. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somebody asked if that's a lemon hat you're wearing. It's, well, I got it at Comic-Con here. Let me grab the chair and I'll come over real fast. Okay. I'm not yelling. It's not the lemon hat. It's not the lemon hat. Also, there's another Adrian in here who spells her name the same way. Oh, wait, the, the same way? Mm -hmm. I thought I saw one with an E. Yeah, somebody had said last night, um, um, hey, uh, Adrian spells her name the same way that I do, and I thought, no, I spell her name the same way. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I go to Comic-Con in Indianapolis every year, and there was this one seller, I wish I could remember who it was, but they were an artist there, and they made like a bunch of a sprout hat. So it could be a lemon hat, it could be an orange, or just a sprout. And I covered it in pins. I don't know if any of these could get copyrighted though. <laughs> they have like a bunch of mushrooms and frog pins all over them. Sneak vape! <laughs> Adrian should be uh, appearing in more videos with me soon. Um, she's going to start doing more stuff like Jason does, uh, where we do. So the <clears throat> the cleanings happen in odd ways. You have to remember that Adrian and Jason both uh, work for me for the regular cleaning business, but also we do the free cleanings on Saturdays, and so that's technically their day off but they make money for those by via YouTube bonuses. So they can make some pretty good money by doing voluntary cleanups. I always pay them for that. However, <clears throat> there are some cleanups that I've been trying to do midweek and that's when they're already working. So unless they've got a cancellation, they won't be. It's the, the reason that I've got so many videos where I'm just by myself is because of those I've recorded in midweek and they weren't able to do them. Um, my wife will be on a little bit later. She's going to set this one out. I'm actually going to do several, um, lives today, at least two, if not three. Um, but <clears throat> as far as us all looking the same, that's my ex-wife, Carrie. And, um, she, yeah, we kind of look half and half with the kids. <laughs> they, <laughs> they share equal features. Someone called me Phil Fett because I'm <laughs> female Jason. Yeah, Adri inherited my ex-wife's height. My ex-wife is one foot four inches tall. <laughs> Mine is 12 feet. Grandma's worse. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kitties are in the corner. There's one there. And then there's one. There's beans over here. I'll show all them later. And then Dakota's at my feet. Beans boy. He tucked her What's up, Nathaniel? Don't you ever hit my tripod. I'll shave you bald, son. I won't let him shave you bald, Dakota. Yeah. I've never used microban. You guys heard it's just a giant poof ball today. Mine's not. <laughs> you don't even have hair. That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's rude. What do you mean? You got hair all over. Look at that. 
So like your. Yes, I'm married now. My wife will be on uh, another stream. Her name is Engelberg Humperdinck. <laughs> What's up, Judy? And Sherry, we got all kinds of members in here today. Matthew, thank you. Matthew just slapped down a 9.99. Hell yeah. Right in the face. <laughs> right exactly in our face hole. <laughs> I can't even tell you how many people I've gotten so mad over the phrase suck it. I've probably banned 200 people who have like chastised me over using suck it. And it's like, oh, come on, man. Grow up. <laughs> Cat emoji. Yeah, um, so becoming a member can be a bit of a pain. Um, if you're on an iPhone or you're on any Apple product, instead of going through the phone, actually go on your PC. It's a, it's a whole thing with um, iPhone not allowing in-app charges. And there's like fees involved and it's really weird. So they just don't show you things that you can buy outside of the app. So if you go on your regular browser, you should be able to find the join button. And I put a link directly to the join button in the descriptions of all my new videos. Someone asked if the cats are rescues. Yes, all three of the cats are rescues. How do you get the smell of mold out? The, about the only thing you can do is clean the carpet with a carpet cleaner, find the source of the mold and use uh, vinegar. And then after you use vinegar, use hydrogen peroxide. Use a mask when you do that too. Favorite thing to clean is a kitchen, specifically a stainless steel sink. It is peopley in here. We, we uh, <laughs> typically hold about 1,000 to 1,100 people. We're up to 573 already, and we've only been live for about 12 minutes. So that's how I roll, son. Yeah, Jason's a rescue. We found him in a box outside a <laughs> dumpster. He was a, a former mold that I had cleaned off the wall. I didn't use hydrogen peroxide, and that's that was my problem. So now he just walks around, molding it up. Someone in your scheduled stream called you to stream Johnny back in Detroit. <laughs> I, after we're done with this, I'm going to have to make sure it didn't publish anything live. I'm hoping that it didn't go live accidentally while I was cursing at the phone. <laughs> I mean, I would never curse at the phone. That's a phone is an inanimate object and it does not deserve cursing. Miranda, what's up? <laughs> My life and chest. Thank. Oh, hey, what's up? I didn't realize you changed your name or, or if, uh, or if that's always been your name, but how do you fix burners that keep smoking? Is almond oil safe to use for stove top burners? Um, so I would take the burners off and actually put them in dishwater and then maybe use a scouring pad or an SOS pad to clean them. And that should get all the oil and stuff off. Just use a ton of dish soap on it. Thank you, Denise. So back to my shirt. I got this yesterday <laughs> at Kohl's and it's an apartment nine. I didn't know that um, apartment nine was going to be my style, but it is. Starving artist, 20 bucks. Thank you so much. If you're starving, you really shouldn't be given this money though. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm just going to buy food and eat it out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to Dairy Queen and get a Heath Blizzard in honor of starving artists. I thought about getting you one on the way here, but then I felt like, you know what? I'll let them starve. Usually after like five is when I need one of those. That's fair. And I've needed one every night, but I've just been too lazy to go get it, <laughs> even though it's literally two blocks away. Are you going to be watching the Barbie movie at the drive-in? No, you don't. You're barred from watching the Barbie movie. That's fair. You were banned. Uh, one of my friends said that yesterday. I guess like everyone wears pink to them. Oh, hi, Frank. Hi. 
He just wants on camera. He knows everybody loves him. That's the car they drove. See, I... <laughs> I was told about a pink Jeep. Lori, I gotta go back up to see the question. Uh, how do you maintain your energy during an in-depth cleaning? Um, I take lots of breaks. So, whenever you see me doing my stuff on on video, anytime you see a cut, I'm taking a break. So I typically work like at most 50 minutes and then I'll take a 10 minute break. Or when I'm in a really, really dirty house, I'll work for a section and then take a break. So maybe I clean off like a three foot by five foot piece of countertop. And then I will go outside, reset my brain, get something to drink and then sneak vape and then um, come back in and continue. <laughs> What's up, man? You're gonna fall. I'm holding him. Yeah. Kitty belly. Kitty belly. Kitty face. He's got cat acne on his chin, so it feels weird to pet him. And he loves his chin petted. <laughs> there, you can see it there, that little black stuff on his chin. I like how he has to be exactly where I'm sitting. So. It's mainly because he's so disgusting. What a disgusting cat face. Cat face. Go get Emily. Get her. Hey, if my um, live starts stutter stepping or doing something weird, let me know. I think I've got it on Wi-Fi right now, but I've got 5G and unlimited, um, unlimited stuff on my phone so I can switch to that because that's how I roll because that's how fancy I am in fact I'd like to test chat if somebody if, if people can throw me a heart heart fist bump that would be cool oh my yeah because my chat right now is not showing up at all and I do not want to have to like restart lives Last chat that I got was Patricia saying kitty. Oh, there we go. Oh, Lordy. Wow. Everything came up all at once. Glued with gold with five bucks. Thank you so much. What type of cleaner would you recommend for nicotine stained woodwork and painted walls? Mr. Clean's Clean Freak is my favorite um, because it's the cheapest, but TSP works really, really well for uh, nicotine. The only problem with TSP is watch it around glass because it will scratch and etch glass. It is a trisodium phosphate is what that stands for. And you can get that in any local hardware store. You can even get it in non-local hardware stores if you want. I just, I would, I would go with local. How would you clean a college dorm before you'd move in? With mm. fire. <laughs> what process would you use and what products? I can clean an entire house with nothing but Mr. Clean and APC. If you don't have Mr. Clean, um, Clean Freak is the one I really like, but dish soap would work just as good. Carol, thank you. Here's some money. Send me Frank. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if we can propagate him like plants. <laughs> well, like... Cut off a leg and plant it in some water and see if it grows another Frank, and then we'll send you the propagated Frank. I'm more of a cat guy. Wolf, what's up, man? 15 bucks. Thank you so much. We'll use that to uh, buy Frankie a new uh, cat leg after we propagate him. Frankie. <laughs> Phyllis Perry just sent us 20 bucks and said, buy filth a new shirt. <laughs> well, I, you know what, for real, I'm going to take him shopping because he has got the worst taste in <laughs> clothes. <laughs> He's just like me whenever I was younger. I just didn't give a crap. I wore the things that were clean and comfortable, but I want to get him styled right on up. <laughs> so I'm going to take him to Kohl's soon and get him a wardrobe. How would you clean a painted room that have wallpaper under the paint? Here's the, here's the bad news on that. <laughs> I personally would strip that down to bare wall and repaint it. Because what's going to happen is 
that the wallpaper that's under the paint is going to disconnect from the wall because the moisture in the paint dissolves the glue and eventually that's going to start peeling off um other than that if you just want to just eat it and say i don't care then i'd say mr clean adrian 10 bucks thank you we need a yo adrian shirt with that in a rocky pose i will buy the first one i may do that and it's funny you say that because when we were naming our kids <clears throat> my wife at the time would say a name and then I would come up with a reason to that that they would be made fun of for that name. When she said Adrian, I said, she's going to get Yo Adrian whenever um, she's in school. And she's like, no kid is going to even know what that means. And then ever since then, I've got people who don't say it all the time, but will bring it up occasionally. And it's never done in a making fun of way. But I mean, that movie came out when I was a small child, but. We played it in my government class out of spite. Christy, uh, watching your videos have made me clean and organize my whole house. I feel so accomplished. Well, that's good. That's awesome. That's kind of what we uh, we hope for when we do these videos. Also, thank you for the $10. Cutie Pie with two bucks. Thank you. And a big old heart emoji. Hell yeah. So the electric coiled stove top can be soaked in dishwater. Just want to be safe and sorry. Yes, after you unplug them, you can soak those in dishwater. Uh, make sure that they, after you do that, they stay. What I do is, you know how you've got the coils that are like this, right? And then you've got the little plug-in that comes down here. I would stand those up to where the plug-ins are on the bottom and just let that set for several hours to make sure that that's really dry before you plug them back in. But yeah, you can soak those down after you've unplugged them. Also, thank you for the, the donation. That's awesome. I'll use that to uh, buy fuel to destroy Adrian's hat. I'll buy some lighter fluid with that and we'll just burn that hat while giggling maniacally. Sneak, babe. Oh my God. Blueberry. There's a video that you haven't seen um, where I taught ADHD people how to clean in small sections. And one of the ones that I did was, um, you know how you leave the oil and the seasonings in one spot because that's where you use them. Yeah. I'm showing people how to, <clears throat> I'm like, just these go on the spice rack, so let's go do that. And then I go off camera and then I snuck around the bottom and brought my head up like this. And went, don't get distracted by the spice cabinet. Go do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> and I had somebody who said it scared the crap out of them. And a lot of people that were like, I would absolutely get distracted by the spice cabinet because yeah. <laughs> you'd start rearranging. <clears throat> now it's a uh, it's just a regular nicotine vape. I've got I've gone down to the lowest amount of nicotine that you can put in there. So I'm. I'm very close to getting off of that. It's my goal for this year, actually, is to get off of vaping. Mr. Clean doesn't sponsor me, but I'm not I'm not sure if I would. Connie, thank you. <laughs> we got a how's it going? It is going well. <laughs> oh, by the way, um oh it's potato again, or potato dat and toe toe. Good morning, y'all. Love your yellow hat. I'll buy two more and send it if it's lit on fire. <laughs> Great to see you both. Thank, Thank you. you. We always need more bucket hats around here. Yeah, this is the hat that Mr. Clean sent me. He, they sent me two of them. But yeah, I would, I would do a sponsorship for Mr. Clean if they wanted to just because I use it. But I won't ever do a sponsorship from stuff I don't use. So you're probably not going to see some mobile game that has the word dragon in it <laughs> coming out of me. Love to find someone in North Carolina that super cleans. I will keep my eye out. Redhead with dreads. That's a cool name. Um, one of the things that I'm going to attempt to start this year is a network for people who do what I do. And the thing is, I only know <clears throat> just a small handful of people. When I say that, I like two. And one of them doesn't even like I've never even spoken to her, which is Ari Katarina 
and uh, Barbie. And Barbie's getting ready to go back to Europe, as far as I know, I think. Um, but I'd like to start a network to where when somebody says, hey, I'm in Des Moines, Iowa, I can find somebody near there who can take care of them. That's not a message. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> I was about to say, like, he got a full glass of tea over here. <laughs> John, hey, aren't you sneak vaping Johnny from Milwaukee? That's what they call me. I don't know. Let's give him a vape and see if he sneaks it. Sneak vape. God damn it. <laughs> is this the new? Is this the new bait? Uh, like bit now? I do it on every live. Yeah, cause I asked him how he keeps from vaping. Adrian is so adorable, and her hat reminds me of my granddaughters. She yeah. actually is granddaughters. I am. Lisa, thank you. Lisa slapped a five right in our face holes. Yeah, Mom Likely is one of my favorites. Thank you, Winifred, Winifred Ken... I, it went by too quick. <laughs> Winifred Kennedy. Thank you. Thank you. Dakota's on the floor. Like the dog she is. <laughs> Yeah, here in a bit, I'll turn on, I'll flip the camera around and show you guys all the pets again. Julie, thank you. She gave Ooh. us a you are amazing dance emoji. Oh, I, I, I remember. Um, I don't know if it works here or not, but for members, there are, um, uh, darn it, emojis, like custom emojis with my stupid face head and stuff on them. So I don't know if that shows up in your chat or not, but they, they exist. And Jessica says, hello from South Carolina. How's your shoulder? It's much better. But funny thing is, I reached up and repopped it like two days ago. And it healed pretty quick. But I think I'm going to have a tendon problem in there forever because I'm old. Filth better get over here soon. Better quit being lazy or I'm going to have to drop a, a stone cold stunner on him. I have terrible news for you. <laughs> he texted me this morning that he had plans. Oh, well, that's fine. Thank you for the $10 that Espo, Espo Enid. That's a good song. I just poke myself with my own mustache. I just injured myself with my own mustache. I must slashed. <laughs> Get it? No. I've got so many people yelling, suck at inanimate objects. Hey, now, I can't read that name, but thank you for the $5. <laughs> oh, quit. I almost accidentally put you in some sort of weird jail, YouTube jail, by touching the screen. That's what I do. So much because I'm a thug. Bloomington, that's not terribly far away. Yeah, seeing somebody clean an already cleaned house can be a bit boring. Um, that's why I like the really, really cluttered ones. Yeah, the messier they are, the better. In fact, whenever I get on Facebook and I offer that um, service to people, I tell them, like, I've, I've done full-blown hoarder houses. You're not going to surprise me. You're not going to shock me. The messier it is, the better. And every single time people are like, well, you've not really cleaned anything like mine. And I'm like, have you crapped in the middle of your floor? <laughs> because <laughs> if you haven't, we're good. <laughs> oh, look, more emojis. Also, gift memberships are a neat idea. I will look into the gift memberships because I don't know if they have them. If they do, I'll definitely set them up. How's your weekend going? We're just going pretty good. I've, I've been exhausted um, mentally and physically. So the wife and I took a trip last night to get something to eat and buy some clothes. And I got a new tool chest, which you'll see in the members section soon. Um, I did boy stuff last night. <laughs> Marissa, thank you. Hi from Australia. Absolutely love your channel. Thanks for the motivation and for making me laugh. Well, thank you for watching it. Otherwise, you know what, let me rephrase that. It's a good thing you watched it. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be getting some of this. That elbow from the top rope. And MRD, thank you. I like the little 
fox looking huggy hardy thing there <laughs> is exactly what they call that. <laughs> can you sell the cardboard cut out of yourself so we can use it for motivation while we clean? <laughs> it's a him just going. Yeah. That would be freaky. I'd buy like 10 of them and stash them around my house. We used to have a cardboard cutout that we'd hide around, and then it got too, we got too carried away with scaring each other with it. <laughs> yeah, so it was Castiel. We had a life-size cutout of Castiel from Supernatural, and the kids would hide it um, around the house, and then it would scare people every time. So someone would be doing the dishes, and another one would take the Castiel cutout <clears throat> and put it beside the kitchen window, and then they'd look up and see it, and it'd scare the crap out of them. They did it for years, and then the, the biggest one was somebody hit it in the shower. That's and, that's scary. Yeah, and then Adri pulled back the shower curtain, and it scared the crap out of her, and that's when, after like two or three years, we we're like, okay, that's enough with the Castiel. So we broke it down and put it in the garage and, and got rid of Castiel. <laughs> they have a Yoda cut out. Marissa, Welcome. You're now a member of our weird cult. Yeah, that's my... Uh, so the last time that I did one of these, I didn't have a, a ring light or any light, and my face was dark, and it was weird looking, so I finally found our cheap uh, ring light and threw it up there. That's how I roll. Cheap light. They call me Cheap Light Johnny back in Milwaukee. I think that's old Cheap Light Johnny. Don't give him one. Don't give him no expensive one. He ain't gonna use it. He won't tolerate it. <laughs> Lord of the Ring. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I have to tell you that my thirteen-year-old son, who's two belts away from black belt, gets to laugh at your spin kicks and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't be laughing in real life. He'd be shaking and crying and running away because it's so devastating. I did Taekwondo for like a year and got up to, I think it was a green belt with a black stripe. <laughs> Honey Badger, four ninety nine. Thank you. A little karate fox there thing. I keep calling it a fox. It's probably like a puppy or something. I just, I'm not good at animals is what I'm saying. Terre Haute. We know Terre Haute. We come there every once in a while and I hate it every time just because of the drive. I like Terre Haute itself. Just getting there is my problem. Jen, thank you. Uh, whoops, quit. I don't want to put Jen in jail. She just gave me $10. <laughs> YouTube is stupid. That's the first ever super chat. Thank you. Your video this week of you polishing the floor was so great. Totally get how it calms you down. Oh yeah, that was the uh, the wood floor that we did. That was a fun one. Someone asked if you ever had a clean fish tank. I clean my own fish tanks. <laughs> Hire someone else. Um, hard water on shower tile is difficult. They make a product called Lime Away. If you don't have that, get CLR. Um, soak it down and let it go for a really long time. Let it activate and then use a scouring pad. Uh, some people use a brush, but a scouring pad just works better. If you don't have either of those products, get cleaning vi vinegar specifically because it's more powerful. And it's going to make your whole house stink like vinegar, but it, it works. Um, it just takes a while. How long have I been gaming? What are some of my favorite consoles and games? I've been gaming since games were invented. Uh, we had the one before Atari, which I think was a Magnavox. And then we had one before then, which is like an Intellivision, I think. I've been gaming since before Pong existed. Um <laughs> And then I would say my favorite console is the PS5. It's just, I don't know, it runs smooth. They have better games. Jen, thank you. Hope you have a great day. Glad to be a member. We're glad you're a member too, because now we know who to drop elbows on. 
if we ever need to. DM, thank you. Real ghost. Here's some devil dollars from Bedford, Virginia. Love your channel. Children, pets, clean freak, spin kicks with a little ninja guy <laughs> there. <laughs> ColecoVision, I remember those. There was also an Odyssey that was pretty decent. I just play games on my little laptop. <laughs> probably the best system that was ever made was probably the Super Nintendo. As far as like a collection of good quality games to play. I spent more time on a Super Nintendo than anything, but my favorite one to date is probably the PS5. Why are people giving me money? Why are people giving me money? Because they know better. <laughs> they know there are consequences to non-payment. Plus, they also know that all this goes to overhead pretty much. <laughs> I've got to buy or buy. I've got to rent. Um, a 20 yard dumpster to clean out a garage probably this week. What's my favorite scent of clean freak? Uh, the new one they've got out is not bad, but I can't remember what it's called, but I usually just go with lemon because it dissipates fast. Anyway, it doesn't really linger around. Do I have a switch? We do. I don't play it that much. Blueberry clean freak. If they made that, I'd use it all the time. Speaking of which, sneak fake. Filth, filth. He is filth. For those who don't know, I think most people in here know. Um, after a bit, uh, because of my autism, the constant letters that go up and the constant messages um, can get overwhelming. So occasionally I step out onto the deck for like two or three minutes, collect my thoughts, calm down, and then come back and I'm good to go again. So occasionally I'll have to step away. But whenever I do, I'll have Thug uh, on this one and then I'll have uh, my wife on the next one. Basically what I want to do is I want to hang out here for a while and then we'll take a break and then I'll come back and do another live later. And I'll probably do that most of the day. I'll have to go do cakes relatively soon. Don't even do well once. Yeah, basically. What's that? <laughs> they were talking about World of Warcraft. And they're like, somebody said they lost years of their life to it. Oh, yeah. Dixie, what's up? I'm sick today, but use Kaboom on fiberglass tubs. Dixie's been around forever. Thank you for the $10. I liked old Zelda. I did not like Breath of the Wild, but I'm weird. <laughs> but when I was growing up, Zelda 1 and 2 and uh, Ocarina of Time was a good one. And then Link to the Past was great. I think Link to the Past was probably one of the best they ever did. I like slow paced games. So I like um, JRPGs turn based. So I'm a really big fan of Octopath Traveler 1 and 2. And I liked um, in the US it was Final Fantasy 3. In Japan it was Final Fantasy 6. But I think that was the best JRPG I've ever played. Legend of Dragoon was really good. And then I like uh, slow paced open world stuff like uh, our builder stuff like Stardew Valley. E.T. on Atari. God, I remembered that piece of crap. <laughs> um, I played World of Warcraft in beta and played it for many, many, many years and then finally gave it up. I don't even remember what the last expansion was that I played. It was getting ridiculous, so I just stopped. Never got into Minecraft. I played it a little bit. I just, it wasn't my thing. And let me tell you a little something about Minecraft, all right? <laughs> Dragon Age, I do play that one. Or I did play that one. I liked uh, Origins. We did play Candy Crush for a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that's your laying in bed game. <laughs> Josie, what's up?
Skyrim, I did play that for many, many years. <laughs> Quasimodo. Thank you. Um, Ni Hao. Ni Hao from Singapore. Um, we share something in common. W wicked sense of humor. Bless your heart. Well, thank you. Yeah, our sense of humor can get weird and dark and, and also weird again. How many members do we have now? I will have to check. I know we finally broke 500. We may be nearing 600 at this point. Yeah, Adrian likes weird hats. She likes bucket hats. She was so mad whenever Mr. Clean sent me a lemon bucket hat. But she uh, they sent me two, so I gave her one. And then the only problem is the Mr. Clean one is made out of like cheap material. Yeah, if it wasn't terrible. <laughs> It's not terrible. It's a cute hat. It's just the quality is not... It's probably waterproof. That is fair. <laughs> it's probably waterproof. All right. That's brought my hope back into it. Oh, yeah. In chat, how many members we got in here? Yeah, it was... Uh, it's 757. Normally in these lives, in the impromptu lives I've done, um, we've carried uh, around 1,060, I think, is the average we usually have in here. But usually those are during the weekdays, and so I don't know if this being on a weekend will make it less or more. That cat is sleeping like he has two jobs, <laughs> pays rent, it's a single father. Gulf Shores, Alabama. My grandma used to go down there all the time for vacation. All right, I gotta go do cakes. All righty, have fun. Peace. Oh, she makes cakes at Dairy Queen. You guys can all suck it. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> get him, Frank. What time is it here? It's almost 1 o'clock, about 10 till. Peace out. See you. Later. Love Have fun. <clears throat> Favorite thing to clean is a stainless steel kitchen sink. My favorite movie, so here's a weird thing. Um, my favorite movies are also on a spectrum. So like it, it, it would change with moods. I would say if I were forced to pick one, it would probably be Pop Star, Never Stop, Never Stopping. It's the Lonely Island movie. Hot Rod would be a close second, but you can ask me on another day and it may be a drama or a gangster movie or something. Yeah, and it's the same thing with collar. Like, I, I don't really have a favorite collar. You could say that my favorite collar is like this, like a teal collar, but other days it would be black and red, and other days it would be a bright blue. I'm going to step out on the deck here in a minute. We're going on almost 45 minutes on the live, and I want to be doing this for a while, so I want to take a step out here in just a second. I forgot I was going to make a little cardboard thing, some dumb sign to put up. I am not still doing art, and that is mainly because um, of time. And, and really, it's weird, but I'm not a big... I'm not big into art. I'm good at it, but I'm, I just... I do it until I burn out and then I just stop. Kevin George, thank you. Uh, greetings from Connecticut. My son is on the spectrum and we are huge fans and supporters of yours. Please keep your videos coming. We love them. Well, thank you. I love that there are so many autistic people that watch my stuff because I didn't know I was autistic until 2017. And then it's not like it changed my life um, getting the diagnosis. But it was, um, it explained so much about the way I act and the way I behave that it made me feel better about myself, just knowing that there was a reason behind it. I get the question about bugs and roaches a lot, like how do I clean around them? Um, I just clean like they're not there. And then once you get the house clean, it takes away their food supply. 
and it takes away their places to hide. And so at that point, you can have somebody come in and uh, fumigate or exterminate the pests, and it, it makes it much easier to get rid of them. I get the air freshener thing a lot too. Um, I don't really use them uh, because the once you clean the house, they're not really necessary. The, the bad smells go away. Elizabeth, thank you. I uh, love your humor. Thanks for entertaining us. Thank you. I like doing it. It's fun. It's my weird jigsaw puzzle-like hobby. Yeah, that would be cool. I could use a step away. Uh, Emily's going to come in here in a second and step in front of the camera and while I go out and clear my head real quick. I get the clean up cat urine thing a lot too. Try vinegar. Um, it kind of counteracts ammonia and baking soda does as well. Otherwise, I got a Bissell carpet cleaner. It's called a Pet Max Pro, I think is what they call it. And it is, um, it heats the water itself so you don't have to put hot water in it. And it's really, really good at getting out smells. And the, the, carpet cleaning juice <laughs> that they make is really good. It comes with the OxyClean and helps get rid of the smells. Okay, Emily's going to step in and talk for a few minutes while I go out and clear my head, and then I'll be right back. That way I can go outside and not sneak vape. I'm going to, like, vape in, in full view of the neighbors and everything. Oh, God. It's a long way up. Hey everybody. Hi. I'm Max Wife. I'm Emily. I'm the ADHD one. It's nice to see you all. I've been yelling from like next door. I've been like just yelling stuff from off camera. Um, thank you. I told Mac long ago that I didn't think that I was going to ever grow out of the hair dyeing phase and so he's just gonna have to deal with it. Yeah, the, um, the autistic thing for, it also helped us too because like, we're both not awesome at communicating sometimes and so that really helped kind of just in our relationship, you know, figure out how we needed to change, like, how we expected communication and things like that. Um, yeah, I dye my hair whatever I feel like right now. It is, like, sunset-y, um, and it's a little faded than what it normally is. Um, and then in the fall and winter, I generally go, like, a really kind of vibrant red. And then, um... Uh, oh, he told me that you guys knew his name. But yeah, I also do like pastel colors and uh, different things like that. Hey, um, uh, tell him about my shirt while you're out. Oh, yeah, a Mac shirt that he got from Kohl's yesterday. It was like really cool. Um, yeah, so this is Rufus. This was um, my cat since I was 15. Um, and, uh, he had moved with me. I'm from Minnesota. So he had moved with me from Minnesota down here. Um, and he passed away in 2020. Um, it was really hard. Yeah, his name is Rufus. I named him after Rufus Wainwright, who was like my favorite as a kid. Um, but, uh, yeah, so he had passed away and uh, I took it really hard because I had had I'd had him since 15 so he had been through like you know all of the things um, and then Mac really loved him the kids really loved him um, so I just honored him with that and now I have three I we have beans uh, Dusty and Frank um, uh, Minnesota I am the uh, like I grew up in Golden Valley and then I moved to Maple Grove, and then for a bit I was in this tiny, tiny town in northern Minnesota be called uh, Bruno. Um, but yeah, so I've been everywhere in Minnesota, and uh, we are, I just actually went out to Wisconsin with my mom 
um, and stayed in a like an Airbnb thing, which was really good. Yes, I'm a Vikings fan, and Mac does not give like one poop about football. It's Mac, but yeah, I shouldn't have. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Dakota's right here. Like, Dakota. Okay. Um, we've been together since 2009. Um, we met online uh, through friends, and then I ended up moving here. And sorry, Dakota was gonna knock down the thing. Your um, next year thing came in. Yay! Um, but yeah, so I've been here since. I've been, but I've lived here since 2009, too, so. Oh, thank you. I'm wearing makeup, so it's not just my skin. <laughs> Thanks for the $4.99. Oh, so that's kind of a funny question. Mac does not go to music festivals, but I am actually, I help with one that's local here um right now i'm mainly working with a non-for-profit that does local like southern illinois music um so yeah i that's like my three big events in the summer is uh, we run three festivals two around us and then one that's down south um near carbondale i'm really sorry to hear that marco my cats like uh, I definitely get the they're not just a pet thing. I was really devastated when I lost Rufus, so I totally, I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah, Mac, uh, like concerts and musicals, and so he likes music, but like concerts and things like that, that would be like way too much. Oh, that's the tat, this is the tattoo. And then I've got uh, this one um, since I was younger, and then. This one is a John Mayer quote. This is the one that I got for Mac. And then this one, Adrian, oops, Adrian actually designed this. And um, we got uh, tattoos together for her 18th birthday. And then she got like eight more tattoos. Um, I, she doesn't have eight, she, but she got more tattoos after that. And I was like, oh dear Lord, what have I done? Yeah, we actually call it a cat too. I did paint the walls in the craft room. Thank you. Um, yeah, right now I am crocheting. Um, I was crocheting a friend, like a cowl, and then I'm uh, crocheting my mom a shirt, but I told her I don't think it's one that she'll be able to wear out because it's not turning out very well. <laughs> She's crocheting a new mom. <laughs> I am crocheting a new mom. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know if Mac had shared, um, but we just found out that uh, Dakota has um, myopathy. Yeah, something myopathy. Um, it's a like just just something myopathy. But her, she's gonna lose the, like the like working in her back legs and eventually her whole body. So we are also dealing with that with her. Um, we've had her since 2017. She's also a rescue from a shelter. Um, I'm the opposite mama riser. I tried knitting and I've done it, but it, I have to count too much. Whereas crocheting, I don't count, which is probably why my sweater looks like shit. <laughs> yeah, we have, um, Dakota came from a county rescue and she was, um, she, she, like, we found out she knew so many commands. Like, she was so smart. It was crazy that she had ended up, she's the sweetest dog. She's so great. Um, and then the cats, we got Beans, um, who was a rescue. And we had had one uh, in between Beans. No, Dakota won't have any pain. Um, she, it'll let her, her body's going to go numb. She's going to lose the control and feeling, but she won't have pain. So that's the one thing that I'm really thankful about. But, um. Yeah, so then we got Dusty and Frank, and they were brothers, and we got them when they were, I mean, tiny baby kittens, and I was just going to foster them, and we ended up, uh, they all bonded so quickly with beans that we, um, we ended up doing, just keeping all three of them. 
I have, di I have I'm working on one diamond painting and I, I had to buy another kit because I dropped my beads twice and they were all open. <laughs> um, so it was funny. Too. It was not funny at all. <laughs> yeah, so I'm working on a Starry Night one. Do you want me to move over? Yeah, I just want to scoop the right. Okay, my water. Oh, my God. Back is trying to kink on me again. Dad readers on here in a second. <laughs> well, there's your fizzo. Oh. I thought it was mine for a minute until I realized we're looking at my phone yeah, right now. I actually did that too. Put it in my spot. Look over No? Okay. All right, if you guys have got cold brews at your house, we're about to do a shooter. <laughs> yeah, kinky back. That's going to be my OnlyFans. <laughs> Showing my big hairy back. I'm actually getting ready to do a mural um, in Adri's room. She still has all of her stuff up there. Um, but when she clears it out, we're going to turn it into a second craft room. And uh, I'm going to do a mural so it's going to look like kind of like a woodland forest with trees and mushrooms and stuff. I'm going to flip the camera around real quick so you can... Uh... I wouldn't do that on Emily. I would break her. <laughs> I've, do been it on... steam... I've been steamrollered. I have never steamrolled you. Previously in our relationship. In my I life, have I have never steamrolled you. <laughs> it's like, she, and she farts all the time, and I have never in my life farted. And it's so disgusting. It makes me sad. I, I'll, cr I'll cry every time she does it. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip the camera. i got to remember how to do it. We could do this and then this. And then this. All right. Now we're going to see if I can do this without tipping anything over. Oh, God. Okay. There's Dakota. This is on a tripod, so that's why this is so weird. And then there's Beans. Hey, Beans. Beans, look. Good kitty. Beans. We can't talk here. Lay there and do nothing. Good kitty. And Frankie and Dusty are probably behind us somewhere. Yeah, I have to have a tripod because I can't hold the camera. It gets shaky. What's up, Dakota? What are you doing? Want to come up? <laughs> come up on my lap? <laughs> I know I see you. Tilt down so everybody can see your big, giant Dakota head. Hey, Dakota, check out my shirt. I got this last night. No, look. No, look, the, look at the shirt. The moon picture was my birthday present um, the year that we quit smoking cigarettes, actually. And uh, I really like the moon. I'm one of those people that's going to be like, hey, the moon's cool. Go look at the moon. Um, and so he did that for me. Uh, that's one of his arts. It's one of his arts. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I personally hate the moon. And if the moon ever gets in my backyard, it's getting slapped. I don't, I don't put up with the moon. Hi, Jen. It's nice to meet you, too. Hi, Frankie. Come Frankie? here. Come here. Come up here. Say hi to everybody. Hey, Frank, have you seen my new shirt? Check it out. Come here. Come here and look at my new shirt. Jerk. Hi, Jewel Smith. Uh, that's both of us who like that blue collar. We, um... We're kind of polar opposites on colors, and then that's the color we found that we both enjoy. So Emily is more bright colors and neons and, and colors everywhere. I'm more like black, silver, and white with, a, with an accent color. And so finding the common ground was really cool because we've got all the white throughout the house. And then we, uh, the one big accent color that we picked was that teal. And I did it not just on the walls, but on like the uh, door frames and stuff. You can see the light sockets back there that have it. Also, I did not miss that donation. I want to scroll back up to see who got that. D. Lee, thank you for everything you do. Thank you for the $4.99. I'm gonna use that to buy paint and paint over all the cool colors in our house and paint it black, including the ceiling. 
Yeah, I tell people, um, I quit smoking in August of 2020, and I tell people if I could do that in August of 2020, uh, anybody can do anything. You just got to stick with it. Nathaniel, it's Mac like the truck, M-A-C-K. Going goth. Oh, yeah. Goth is coming back. Like, I'm on, uh, I do TikTok lives a lot. And one of the things I like to do is when people gift me on um, TikTok, I convert that into um, real world money and then buy back coins or convert it to coins. And then I gift small streamers when they don't expect it. And so they'll have like two people in the room and I'll show up with like a hundred dollar gift for them. Oh, thanks, Sherry. Thanks for sharing Mac with us. Great to see both of you together. You're beautiful, Emily. That was very sweet of you. Thank yeah, you. I, I'm beautiful too. He is beautiful. But it's because I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> if I don't wear makeup, I ha I don't have lips. <laughs> it's just teeth and a mustache and then a chin. Oh, man, Patty. That's good. And also, I, I empathize with you. I'm a Libra. Um, my... <clears throat> like rising sign is higher like i'm an air sign but i like my other signs are stronger water <laughs> i'm sorry for everybody else are stronger water so i'm like a water baby but i also love the air but yeah i'm, I'm a libra i'm pretty fond of air Air's pretty good. if i don't have it i start to freak out i've in fact we've got air in the room now like as we speak there's a bunch of it in here <laughs> I'm so glad we had that unused ring light. I mean, the last time I did one of these, my face was just covered in shadow, and Jason was sitting there, and his was fine. <laughs> Max and Aries. She probably would have known that anyway if I would have just said something like, it's none of your damn business. <laughs> 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 I'm reassured about the air. <laughs> that should be funny, but it is. <laughs> uh, he was going to, Jason was going to be over today, um, but he's, I've always told them, you're not required to do any of this. And I always tell them, like, so, so far, all these um, donations and stuff that we got, those will be split out with anybody who's on the stream. And so they will get paid for being on these. And so I tell them, consider it like extra credit. If you want extra money and you want to interact with people and have fun, then that's great. And if you don't, enjoy your weekend off. So I'm, I'm really liberal when it comes to uh, working conditions and what they do and when they do it. I like them to be as relaxed and carefree as they possibly can. I think that is actually second most important thing outside of money in a job is being free. That made sense to me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you on my shirt, by the way. I made it. I reverse dyed this. Um, yeah. Any tips for when packing is overwhelming? I have to move on Thursday. <clears throat> Do a room at a time. Um, and also do sections at a time. So what I do is if I'm going to pack, I'm going to do all my stuff that I'm not going to immediately use. So like maybe all books and all records and uh, maybe go through the house and try to keep everything in their relative boxes. So maybe I've got pictures that I need to pack. So that's all I'm going to concentrate for say an hour or two hours or whatever is just packing pictures. That way you'll thank yourself when you get to the new place and you're like not having to go through five boxes to find, you know, all your pictures scattered out everywhere. How do you deal with the stress of owning a home? We have been very, very fortunate in that we haven't had much stress. Um, I learned how to fix many, many things by watching YouTube. And just like if I've got I don't even know, I can't even count the amount of things I've fixed here, fixing gutters and stuff like that. Um, if we have a problem, I pull up a YouTube video on it, learn how to fix it, and then move on. So 
owning a home, even though it can give you stress, also brings me a lot of joy because I learn a lot of new skills. We've had a few things that we've had to have people come in and do, um, and that's stressful just because no matter how well you're doing, when you get somebody coming in, you're like bracing yourself for the worst possible news, so. Nope, I've done it all. We've never had anybody do anything to this house ever. <laughs> in fact, I built this house with my own two hands back in 1964, 10 years before I was born. why they call me Johnny building a house 10 years before he was born back in San Antonio man that coffee just hit me like <laughs> <laughs> strawberry dawn that's our very first subscriber or oh. our very first uh, member in the membership very cycle. cool nice to see you strawberry dawn yeah moving furniture sucks I hate moving furniture. This is a Rufus tattoo. And this actually was also, I showed another one that Adri did. This was based off of a picture that I had taken of Rufus, plus a drawing that, that Adri had done for Rufus. Yeah, I've shown um, my artwork to people before, but I'll show you guys again here in a minute. Uh, for the people who haven't seen it. Actually, I'll, I'll, let me pull this off here, real, uh, this tripod real quick. I'll flip the camera around and show you around our messy living room. <laughs> oh. um, I'm pretty proud of the thing I'm about to show you here in a second. What's that? You can see my eye. Ah. I'm sorry. I get distracted easy. Okay, so I'm proud of this because we got this clock which is actually huge um it doesn't appear that way on camera but it's gigantic uh and then emily made those three mirrors that one that one and that one and then we wanted declining sizes <clears throat> then i got that thing which is actually the bottom of a planter it's a drainage thing that i spray painted kind of an opalescent blue and black and then we had to sticker the moon so that it kind of looks like a comet going across our wall. And then for the people who haven't seen it, <clears throat> I used to be a charcoal artist. So I drew, that's Rufus. And I'll get close to his eye so you can see how detailed that gets. And then this is Emily and Adrian at our wedding. First time Adrian ever got like super fancy dressed up. And then I'll take you over here without getting you motion sick. That's Dakota. Uh, and this is all charcoal work. And zoom into her eye here and her shiny nose. And then the moon she was already talking about but the funny thing about this is i was drawing it while i was quitting smoking so it's super violent like the craters and stuff are all ultra violent but every part of that moon is anatomically correct every crater is where it's supposed to be also this black stuff in the background here that's actually not black paper i filled all that in with uh charcoal then over here, this is the paludarium I made with a little water feature. And then I am fan of Faith No More. So Emily for Christmas has gotten me specialized Faith No More posters. That's probably the best album that was ever created. And then we've got one behind here that's kind of covered with plants right now. And then we've got our fancy 1980s stereo system. It's a Technics. We're probably going to put on some records later whenever I get to relax and, and just chill. And I also need to clean the house, but Dakota. Say Bork. Say Bork. Good girl. Lay there and don't do anything at all. 
Good girl. <laughs> yeah, my body feels like it got beat up. I've just been doing too much lately. I beat him up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I fell down the stairs. Yeah. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's a little too dark for a stream. <laughs> Emily cooks, um, and then occasionally, rarely anymore, just because I don't have the time, but I, I like cooking. We both really like cooking, and Max is really good at baking. Um, he got on a big baking kick after we, like, binged a bunch of Great British Bake Off. Uh, we don't clean that house together. I do what I can to keep up, and then I leave, and then he cleans everything else up. <laughs> Innovative Solutions join the call. Welcome. Everybody give them a heart, heart, fist bump. <laughs> People have asked uh, over the last week what that means. It's just my way of basically saying much love and then a fist bump, like you're fist bumping people in real life. And it's the way whenever I get overwhelmed with comments and I've got too many to address, um, I'll quickly throw in a heart, heart, fist bump to the to people who comment, just to make sure they know I saw and appreciate what they said. Yeah, the other link, TK, that was weird. YouTube wouldn't let me just go live on that. Like, no matter what I did, it wouldn't give me a thing to where I could just click a button and go live. It's like, why make it that complicated? Just give me a button to press. And so I had to start a brand new live, and it's probably going to be a thing where I Google it here in a little while and find out that I just overlook something extremely simple because I, I do that a lot. But I will look it up before the next live because we're going to start scheduling these out um, and we're going to be doing a live at least once a week. And so we'll have a video on Saturday, which is our regular video. We'll have the membership video on Wednesday, which is always the case. And sometimes I throw those up on Tuesday if I get too excited. Um, and then I will do a live somewhere in between those, maybe on a Thursday or something like that. And I'm going to have Jason eventually be a steady member of that or filth. Yeah, the, I, I really like doing lives. Everybody's super cool, and I've never really had a crappy, you know, live. It's always been fun. What do you recommend for cleaning the inside of a refrigerator? Straight dish soap is good. Let it soak a little bit for the sticky stuff, and then use my APC to sanitize it. You don't have to do the APC thing. I just do because it's, I don't know, it just feels cleaner to me. I've also used a razor scraper sometimes too if I don't, because it's hard to get stuff to soak into real sticky shit. Uh, sorry. That's all right. Um, to get stuff to soak into sticky stuff, since it's cold, it feels like it doesn't work as well. So I'll use a razor scraper occasionally. Other than dishwashers, what sounds can I not stand? Crying babies. Um, or even like a toddler at a restaurant who's just being loud. I can't take it, which is ironic because I've raised three children. Um, I can't stand the sound of, um, like if you're wiping dust off of a dashboard, that gritty sound, I can't handle that. People spitting, I can't handle that at all. And then there's a bunch of sounds that I can't handle. Weirdly, the weirdest one that I can't handle is when people describe food in a commercial. Any adjective that describes food freaks me out, and I, I have to mentally distract myself because it drives me nuts. Um, it's pretty cool living with Max. We've had, um, we're not quite polar opposites with a lot of stuff. We're both extra which is great um, because he's like, I want to put a pond in the bedroom. And I'm like, yeah, dude, go for it. Um, but there, I mean, there's times where the my not being able to clean or like not my standards are different than his standards. What I can do is different from what he can do. Um, 
but just, I don't know, communication fixes that pretty well and figuring out what is going to work for both of us where we're not going to be crazy. But other than that, it's great. I laugh all the time. I, like, he's my best friend. Um, I don't know. There's nothing, I mean, there's no downsides to it. <laughs> That's for sure. But yeah, we laugh a lot. We make, uh, we have a lot of fun. Hey, I love that you're from Minnesota. Filth is far outselling Team Jason. The biggest selling t-shirt we have is Hey Look More Dishes. Some of your favorite Hoarders episodes, one where a woman had poop buckets around her property actually terrified me. Um, my favorite Hoarder episodes, I couldn't tell you specific ones, but it's where Mac, Matt Paxton finally has enough and lays things out logically and bluntly to people. And I, I really like it because even though you have to be empathetic, uh, toward a lot of people, toward everyone, there comes a time where they do need tough love and they have to be told, look, you can keep all the stuff you want, but you are going to lose your house. The, what you're doing is illogical to the point where you're not only going to lose the house, but everything you're fighting to keep is also going to be lost. There's an ADHD one on there. Jennifer, welcome. Um, so ADHD cleaning tips for me, um, I try to use a lot of baskets and two things that have really helped me recently are I will take breaks, but I will set an alarm with the dot um, or on my phone and say, okay, I'm going to like stop for a bit and then I'm going to get back to it. And I set these three things I want to get done today. And I try to make that a priority while also giving my brain the ability to process it. And one of the other things um, is just finding a good podcast. Um, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts, and that helps make it feel less like a chore. The, the hoodies I think we sell, so yeah. the, what they do is we upload, or I say we, Emily uploads the stuff, and then you can put that on whatever you want. So you can put it on coffee cups or hoodies or T-shirts or, or whatever. Nathaniel, I get that about how that show disturbs you. There are episodes where I get almost angry because of the way they do their editing. Um, they know how to build suspense and they know how to push your anger buttons. And so I am gullible for that stuff. And so there's times where I'm like, I see the illogical steps going on in their head. And I'm just like, somebody needs to step in and put a stop to this and stop letting them get away with this thing. And which is funny because in real life, I do the opposite because I'm personally involved in it. So editing trickery can make that show too much to handle. Like one of my favorite shows was Succession. I can't watch it because it's too intense. So I watched like the first season or two, but I can't. I can't watch it anymore because it's too real and too much. I just got diagnosed with ADHD um, about four months ago, and I've I and I actually kind of learned about my behaviors through videos on TikTok, and I was like, oh, this makes me like this makes sense because this is how I am. I've probably had it my whole life, um, and women are really good at masking things. Um, but yeah, I was, I've just been recently diagnosed and started treatment for it. So in Indiana from faith, we, uh, we'll, we will be coming to Indiana, not too awful long from now. I've got several people in specifically in Northern Indiana who've been asking for help, but so people think, well, you live in Illinois, so therefore Indiana is not that far away, but people often forget how long both of our states are. And so, well, well, we'll go to Chicago, let's say. People will be like, I'm in Chicago, therefore we're in Illinois, and it shouldn't be too far to get here. But Chicago is like three and a half, four hours from us because the state is so gigantic. Side to side, it's not. But, but anyway, all that rambling is to say that we're going to be doing some Indiana trips pretty soon um, to help people out. At some point, once I get a building, I'm going to open that up to tourist type stuff um, and allow 
you know, people come in and see our studio and see how we do. Uh, for those who have been following along, I did cancel my bid on the church. Uh, so I'm not going to get it. I'm going to get it a more appropriate building for what we need and something that is not going to take one or two hundred thousand dollars to fix up <laughs> so that I can make an actual studio and invite people in. Bloomington is, is one that I get a lot. I'd love to go to the UK. I'd love to spend like a long time there to see everything. But it's also, I mean, actual like UK is not very long from top to bottom. So <laughs> it would be easy. Yeah. And my ancestors come from Glossier. And that's one place I want to visit. Terre Haute. We go to Terre Haute a couple times a year. That's where we do a lot of our Christmas shopping. Oh, and for new members who have never been in one of my lives, I do this a lot because it's stimming. I know our champlain is. I'd like to come to Scotland. We're going to track down Sarah Milliken. <laughs> Yeah, I I would love to go to the UK and like like my dream seriously is to be in the audience for uh, Big Fat Quiz. I think that would be awesome. Uh, Glosher, I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not sure. I've been told by people it's pronounced Glosher. It's I know it's spelled Gloucestershire. <laughs> it's but it's pronounced way different. Thank you. This shirt is awesome. <laughs> Sarah is one of the funniest people on the planet. I mean, I love to see her uh, in the same room with David Mitchell. Um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Iowati, Richard Iowati. Um, who's the... Uh, James A. Caster. Yeah. James, Love A. Caster. James A. Caster. I want to just hang out with him for a day. James A. Caster is one of the funniest people on the planet. We don't have any kids together. Everyone was previous from Max's former marriage, and we're all good friends with um, his ex wife and, and their stepdad. Gloucestershire is how they said that was pronounced. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Yeah, we were very excited when Sarah was on Taskmaster. We haven't seen the latest, um, the latest season yet, though. Um, the I'd like to say that there is a story behind calling Jason filth. It, it's more like just the word filth makes me laugh. It's funny uh, to use it not as an adjective but as a noun, and saying he's filth, and not that he's filthy or anything. So I started doing it because it was funny to me that both of us would be empathetic toward the hoarders that we're helping and that we're doing this work for free. But for whatever reason, I just can't stand working with my own son, who's clearly going to be watching the videos and who who clearly is one of the nicest people who's ever lived. And uh, the idea that I could be empathetic to, to the people we're helping, but not to my own son creates a weird backstory that makes me sound terrible and makes Jason sound empathetic. And it just makes me laugh like an idiot. Michigan is also another state we're going to be, yeah, um, we're going to be going to. But yes, we are big fans of the IT crowd. The not American version. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a vampire? Said your parents were from Transylvania. Hi, Plymouth. I went to school there. Welcome, Brandon. We're going to be here for a while. Thank you. I, it's taken me a while to talk in this voice uh, because normally I talk like this. <laughs> 
And this is how I talk in everyday life. <laughs> My brothers went to Armstrong. Um, yeah, we both also love Ta the Taskmaster crew. Um, Alex Horn is probably one of the funniest people on the face of the earth right now, period. Yeah. And Greg Davies is also great. Greg Davies thing about, yeah, the couchon and um, on the big fat quiz, the bad dong, dad bod. Uh, those things will always make me laugh. Uh, Jen, as far as me helping people, I've just got to be within driving distance. Um, we are going to start traveling very, very soon. In fact, we'll, probably next week will be our first travel. It's not going to be far. It's going to be like uh, 90 miles from here. Um, but it's far enough to where we're going to have to go get a hotel. I'll work one day, go back to the hotel, then come back and finish up on day two, and then drive back home. Otherwise, it would put me on the road for three hours, and that's too much. So... Um, Right now, until we start getting used to that and finding out if it's viable or not, um, you just have to be within like 30, 40 minutes of where I live. And to be honest, if you don't know where I live, you probably don't live no, you probably don't live anywhere near me because my name is kind of out there in our area, so like everybody knows who I am now. Um, I still want to do a collab with Barbie, but she's also within the next couple months going back. I think she's moving to Spain or something like that. And so the window for that is rapidly closing. Thanks, lady. I don't go back to the hoarder homes unless they ask me back. And so far, nobody's asked me back. Usually once I'm done, that's all in their hands. It's the same thing with like everybody always asks, um, uh, do you move the refrigerators and, and stoves and stuff and clean underneath them? And I don't, but I let them know they're going to have to. Um, the way I see it, I'm already spending, I, I don't know, 10 to 15 hours in somebody's place and I'm already exhausted and not charging. My, I have a bad back, two bad shoulders, and I'm not going to pull out a stove and risk injuring myself. And I'm never ever going to pull out a gas stove regardless because I'm always afraid of breaking a gas line and refrigerators in a hoarder house can be 800 to a thousand pounds because they they stock them so full that you've got 500 pounds of food in a 200 pound refrigerator you know so it's it's not worth it to me to risk the injury spin mops suck because the uh <clears throat> The little plastic triangle on top scrapes the floor. No matter what you do, it'll always scrape the floor. Do you mean the Christmas poo? I don't think we're related to Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo. Oh, yeah, it's because of that voice. Oh. Howdy ho! <laughs> Minnesota State Fair is one of the things that I go back for um, pretty consistently. Uh, I'm not going to be there this year, but I'm going to be I'm crossing my fingers to make it to Postal Service Concert, and the Renaissance Festival this year. Favorite room to clean is the kitchen because it's the most dramatic effect from start to finish. It's also, in a lot of houses, it's the first room you see. And so um, if you get a kitchen clean, it makes the rest of the house look clean by comparison, I guess, or by, just by being uncluttered. I, <clears throat> on microfiber cloths, I use Tide with OxyClean. I <laughs> miss Toots. Thank you. <laughs> That's a good name. I am his wife. It's like legal and everything. <laughs> we, we went to the Renaissance Festival and pointed out all the giant cleavage <laughs> for a day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't know how to say the name. Kiarda? First off, thank you. I can't tidy clean up. Even a small spot in one go, I get anxiety and need to leave. I can return to it a day later. Any tip on how to deal with this? Pick up one very small area like the top of your stove or just a 3 by 5 section of your countertop. Clean that and then walk away. And then just keep doing one square per day. Uh, happy Yappy Home. and <laughs> Thank you for helping a woman that fosters dogs. Thank you. And Sana S. 
Thank you very much. That's a uh, that's generous. Twenty two ninety nine right in our face holes. Little dancing, you are amazing. You guys are so sweet. I was kind of nervous about getting on a live, but y'all are very nice. Thank you so much. Amy Bone, awesome name. <laughs> Hi from Wales. Uh, you guys are such a cute couple, and your videos are lifesavers. And yes, it is pronounced Glutchinchin <laughs> Traxia. Also, thank you. I wonder if we got. Yeah, I do. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. I was wanting to see if we could do the stupid um, emotes that I uploaded. I think I uploaded like five, but I don't know how to do them. <laughs> Rinfest is a cleavage runway. <laughs> it was really funny because my brother and his girlfriend uh, got into an argument over the cleavage. And like we were kind of snickering to each other because we would kind of like, hey, check her out. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the size of that cleavage? <laughs> Very respectfully. I do have a PayPal, but I don't put it out there. I, I appreciate it, but I, uh, I I don't really want to do direct donations like that. They all get recycled back into um, the the stuff that we do for the channel anyway. The fantabulous filth mobile. <laughs> Most disgusting liquid would be probably the stuff in refrigerators like uh, meat and vegetables when they start to rot, the pool of liquid that gets in the bottom of there. Or actually, no, it would be somebody who started dishes six months ago and then just walked away from them at the dishwasher or the dish, uh, the sink is still filled with water. That gets incredibly nasty. Rotting potatoes are definitely nasty, too. Yeah. Thank you, Pam. We play Magic. We haven't played any of the recent stuff. Um, but the when I visited him for the first time when we met, he let me win, like, all week. And then once we started, like, our serious relationship, I realized that he was just letting me win. <laughs> so, but, yeah, we like Magic the Gathering. Um, I used to do a little bit of succulent plants. I don't like them as much because they're hands-off plants. Um, you just, you, you hardly ever water them. And so I like plants that I can prune and that can grow gigantic. Yeah, bad milk is definitely nasty too. I need to remember also to read out some of these questions, but uh, that way people who are watching this later can actually hear what I'm answering. The only thing is it drives me nuts because then you get Twitch voice where you read the questions really quick and <clears throat> and everything is done in a certain inflection that is done across the board and it drives me nuts. So they end up doing things like, oh, my computer never loaded when this started and I thought you were running late. Yeah, that's stupid. And then you can't understand what the hell they just said. Is it Murfala? Thank you very much. You remind me of the human version of my favorite app. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really funny. Uh, figured that out after your motivational fridge video. Gotta go clean. Nice seeing you both. Hey, enjoy your cleaning and, uh, and film it. Make yourself famous <laughs> on YouTube for cleaning your fridge. There's a way to post comments onto the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Laura, I help out with uh, Moccasin Creek, Summer Sundown, and then one down in Makanda called um, Touch Earth's Little Grassy Get Down. I work with Poss Music Works. Miss Toots, thank you again. Your wife is so beautiful. How did you get her to marry you? Uh, 50 bucks. <laughs> Jennifer, thank you. <laughs> you didn't see this. Is there a place you don't like to clean? Yeah, I agree with the bathrooms thing. It's not that they're gross. It's just there's a lot of bending down. Bert, or Brid, thank you. Um, so I'm six foot four, and having to go up and down on a bathroom is very tiring. It wears my back and legs out. <laughs> Ms. Toots. <laughs> 
Toots. You said toots. <laughs> toots are pretty cool. Yeah, you know, toots. <laughs> toots. <laughs> Settle down, dumbass. <laughs> I'm tiny. I'm five five. Okay, I'm gonna step away on the deck again here for a minute. If you want to trade step offs too, if you get um, overwhelmed, yeah. we'll, we'll trade off. All right, I'll be back in a couple minutes and let Emily answer stuff. <laughs> what are you doing? There was no one there. That was me. You're so dumb. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Jeez. Thank you. You scared away the nothing. Um, uh, there was some stuff up here. Uh, no, they're not my kids. I mean, they're my kids. Um, we've been together since 2009. Adri was four when we got together. So, um, yeah, they're, we, I mean, I've been through puberty with all of them. Uh, if anyone has had kids like that, you know, like cleaning up puke. And going through puberty, it was like, yeah, you're a parent now. And we live in the same town that um, that they live in. So we had, you know, we'd see them every weekend. And then they would just kind of always come over whenever, too. Carrie and I, um, or Mac's ex-wife uh, and I actually look alike. You can tell that Mac definitely has a type. <laughs> I... Um, so I have a smell issue because I have migraines. Um, so a lot of the stuff that Mac uses is either unscented or is like, especially in the house is either unscented or is something that I'm like, okay, I can handle this. Holy cow. Linda Olson. You are amazing. Thank you so much. 16 year old boy is a very unique smell. Um, yeah. Jason, he's just chilling today. He didn't want to. Um, he didn't want to be on camera. I don't know if he didn't want to be on camera. He's just not here. Um, yeah, I would. If my sense of smell was that, like it's gotten progressively worse. So uh, if I had a dog sense of smell, that would be unpleasant. Um, okay, so I've got this one that Adri drew, and the tattoo artist cleaned it up a little bit. Um, and then the this is Rufus. Um, this is honeysuckle flowers that I got with my cousin. We both had a honeysuckle bush. Um, this is a ticket that says "Keep Me Where the Light Is." It's a John Mayer lyric that Mac and I both really love. The song "Gravity." That's kind of like our song. Um, I've got one on my back that is awful. I'm not gonna show. And then I have a clover here. Jason's not married. He's been with his girlfriend since he was a senior in high school, though. So um, they've been together for like four years now, I think. But yeah, scents, floral scents. And actually, we when we went to Kohl's yesterday, um, part of the thing that I had to do is find a cologne that uh, didn't make me feel icky because I had bought him one that I really liked. And then like over time, it's like, ah, um, thanks for being here, Shelly. Hello, you're also in Illinois, Suzanne, or Susan. I cook more often. Um, I love making soups. And right now it's very warm out, but I'm still making soups. And just hoping that fall will come soon. Um, and then I can make even more soups. But uh, there's a stew that I've been making that's really good. Um, it's The guy's name is Donald. I think he's Irish. D-O-N-A-L, and um, he does a really good stew that you cook in the oven, and then you put these biscuits on top of it, and it is like, oh, it's the best. We don't use wine in our cooking. I think it tastes weird, but I use like tomatoes and stuff to kind of bring the acidity. Um, so yeah. Hi, Karen. Thank you for the $4.99. Thank you. Um, I got this one. The Rufus one was the, the first one I got. Um, like recently and then I was kind of like oh crap I 
like I thought it was gonna hurt and it didn't and I was like I just got invested in another very expensive hobby <laughs> this page um so the festivals that I'm a part of are actually really they're not huge um potato my favorite soup to make is loaded baked potato soup um I also like butternut squash but Max not a squash person so um, but, but the festivals I'm a part of are um, more y'all, the, there's a term for it called the alternative. A uh, little bit of country, a little bit of alternative, a little bit of rock, some blues. Um, so like our big act at this last one that we did uh, is Carsey Blanton um, and Bernie Sisters, who I absolutely love. Um, Jeremy, I get like that sometimes. Um, it's really hard it's frustrating being in certain spaces sometimes because you can't expect everyone to accommodate for the fact that you get migraines, but it does suck when you just can't. Like I was at a workout class one time and somebody wore like just some really heavy perfume and I was just, Bleh. yeah, I get that ammonia scent. Um, not just with perfumes, but like different kind of cleaning, not really cleaning products, but just different kind of like household products. I sing, but not like professionally or anything. Um, I don't have the patience to sit down and like teach myself an instrument. Um, Mac uh, makes this really amazing soup that is like beef with a tomato, uh, tomato juice base, and then it's like vegetable, um, corn and green beans. And um, that is one of my favorite things. So whenever I'm like bummed out or in a sad mood, um, he makes that for me, it's really good. Yeah, Carsey Blanton's dope. Um, I really like her, uh, her not gonna take it anymore song. <laughs> so yeah, our festival, and they're, they're very, uh, family friendly is very important together. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> yes. That's what happens, you get on my stream, you get spin kicked. Even if I'm not trying to, that's how powerful my spin kicks are. And then one of the main things that we advertise for our festivals is we have actual flushing toilets. So um, when I bought this shirt yesterday, I noticed that it was with other shirts that this one was better. Is the day this thing right here? Because I've heard about that with the migraines, but I've never done it myself. I can do a couple of the voices off Beavis and Butthead. I do Beavis and Butthead, and then I can do the uh, sergeant teacher guy. The uh, Beavis and Butthead will not laugh in class. <laughs> Have you done your Kermit for them before? Yeah, I've done Kermit on the last one. Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here. And then Ernie, which is... <clears throat> Hi ho, Bert. Squares are neat shapes, Bert. Yeah, leather does. Um, then the barometer drops. Um, that that can really cause some issues. I love Max's sense of humor. If I uh, if I didn't like, we would not be together. Um, the first time we ever spoke, we were in like kind of a group Skype call, and I made him laugh so hard that he shot chicken soup out of his nose. Um, and then yeah, he's made me laugh that much as well. I don't know if I could do Hank Hill. I wouldn't attempt it on a live until I knew I could do it. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll look into that, Kate. <laughs> Forensic Files, uh, I feel the same way. I actually put that on when I have a migraine and I'm trying to like tell myself to go to sleep. She watches so many murder shows that I've always made a joke that she's not watching, she's learning. That's really sweet, Kathy, thanks. Never tried Ren and Stimpy. 
yeah, true crime. I'm a big fan of true crime. Um, I don't listen to any true crime podcasts, though, which is kind of weird. Um, I'm a big fan of Mike from Maintenance Phase and um, uh, You're Wrong About and the one that he does with Peter. And I also heart Peter <coughs> from 5 to 4 and If Books Could Kill. I've never watched Bailey Saren. <laughs> yeah spin mops suck i'll spin kick it there's more like a spin kick mop is what they are <laughs> that's probably our fan making the weird noise oh yeah it's that it, it's i don't know it sounds like a weird sci-fi horror thing i need to replace it yeah the fragrance thing i we went to kohl's yesterday uh, incidentally, where I bought my new shirt, um, which is on my body currently. And uh, I had she was going into the fragrance section, and I asked her to find uh, a fragrance that didn't give her a migraine. So she sifted through those. And I think I found one. Um, I ordered a tiny bottle of it, and we'll see. Fingers crossed. So I do Claiborne for men, and then I do Tom Woods Eau de Wood. But the Ode Day Wood is like starting to be a, a migraine trigger. Um, so she found Polo Blue, which I don't like Polo normally, but Polo Blue wasn't bad. So we'll see. Never at Kohl's. Um, I have. Um, <laughs> I said wood. <laughs> yeah, wood's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, your mom loves wood. <laughs> Dull hole. <laughs> Um, I've been recognized at Dollar General, and so has Jason. I've been recognized as Max Wife many times. I used to use Obsession for Men and Eternity for Men. I have considered getting a license for crime scene cleaning, but the thing is we don't live in a crime area. And so, like, our crime scene cleaning would be, like, vacuuming up the seeds from weed. <laughs> like, well, uh, even that wouldn't be a thing because it's legal here. So. Yeah. I never liked CK1. That one always bothered me. I used to be a really big fan of Dracar Noir um, in my teenage years. <laughs> It is hard to keep my house clean while cleaning others. Now, see, the thing is, I don't, I'm not as much of a part of the actual cleaning, physical cleaning part of the business right now, but I have to be there while Adrian is finishing up her training. Once I'm done with that, then it's way, way easier to clean the house because I've got, I'm not as mentally wiped out. But while I'm doing stuff like this, it is difficult. I was going to talk earlier about underrated bands and see what people thought. I told him about my mayor tattoo. <laughs> I don't know. if he, He's not underrated, I guess I wouldn't say. I think he's underrated as a guitar performer. Burn Pile is still out there. I was thinking about, I got to get rid of a bunch of cardboard boxes, so I think I may go stuff those in there and get it going. Because um, I need... Anybody who's not a member, what I do is I film some things that I've done throughout the week, and then the, the video that you get that's an extra on Wednesdays is not necessarily about the video. It's more about what I talk about. So it's kind of like the video is a background thing going on, and the main focus is what I want to discuss for that week. So, for instance, I may do a video on how to clean for people with ADHD. Um, it may be that I'm going to clean out my garage, but I'm talking about um, dealing with chore lists and stuff like that. And so I try to make it more helpful, but the video is not the main point. So that rambling means that I can go out there and film myself burning that stupid burn pile and then 
that would be a pretty cool background video to whatever I'm talking about that week because fire's pretty cool. Fire! Fire! <clears throat> Settle down. <laughs> This is his wife. Hi, I missed it. <laughs> oh man, my shoulder is the robin. I like the walls that he painted. Um, the turquoise, that dark turquoise in his office is um, the accents on the outside of our house and we both really like that teal turquoise color so I'm a fan. I'm not a big brown person but that's not my room, it's his room. <laughs> um, for, I can't see who asked but we are going to be around for a while. We're kind of making this a mega live today. Yeah, in our area, it's um, the only time you can't really do it is you can't do it after dark and you can't do it when there's a burn ban. We've had a couple burn bans this year because of uh, drought and then we get like 18,000 inches of rain all at once. I'm Team Jason. I've got a Team Jason shirt. I wear it proudly. Yeah, I love the craft room. Um, he actually did it uh, before I was there when he started. And then um, I was just kind of like, okay, I need to be able to see the things. And then he did a really good job with it. Yeah, we're going to separate them out because so all the kids are grown and out of the house. Um, Drew doesn't get jealous of fame at all. Drew's not really a, an on-camera type person. Uh, but we turned Drew's room into my office, and then we had um, Adrian's old room, which became the, tra the craft room, and then she moved into another one. And now that she's out, we're going to turn that into a secondary craft room. So I'm thinking it's going to be up to her because she's the one that's using it. But I think one room for, like, say, crocheting and, knit and uh, loom work and all that stuff, and maybe one for painting. And then we can get a nice big fat TV to put up in the corner to where she can watch shows or listen to podcasts and stuff in the room while she's relaxing throw a recliner or something in there we are eventually going to come to iowa for cleaning um i have a lot of people in iowa wisconsin and michigan who constantly ask and we're just not quite ready to do it yet but when we do it's going to be a thing where i will announce it here and on TikTok and probably facebook and i'll be like i'll be in iowa this week here's the city i'll be in and if you're within driving distance of that we'll just start hitting different towns i do all the painting um i'm one of those people who i like a little bit of all the crafts um, so i do a little bit of everything which means i buy a little bit of everything and then i'll do something hardcore for a couple weeks or a couple months and then i'll switch to the next thing sham we are eventually going to go to the uk and australia um it's going to have to be when the channel gets bigger to where we can afford to be able to take off and not have to worry about the business collapsing while we're gone. Yeah, I know it's crazy. We got this one. It was originally a three bedroom house, but it's, so it's a tri level. Um, what's the name of it? Um, not art deco. It's, mid-century modern uh, so it's a tri-level and it had three bedrooms upstairs and the downstairs was like a family room with an attached office but we turned the attached office into a walk-in closet and that made us legally be able to call the downstairs a bedroom so now it's a four bedroom two bath house faith what's up vanessa we're gonna come to your continent <laughs> Mac is point. really scared of spiders too, so coming to Australia is going to be big for him. Not scared of anything. I juggle spiders. <laughs> it's not as mid century mod as I'd like it to be. Ship house. Oh, we got a little stutter step in our live. 
Nola, what's up? I hate spiders. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Big handfuls of spiders flipping around through the air. What the hell? I am a talking spider, it would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I may actually have to take this off of uh, of Wi-Fi and just put it on 5G. Um, is it Marco? If, if you're on an iPhone-type device, instead of using the app, uh, go on your browser to my channel, and it should the Join button should show up. It's on the About section. <laughs> Back in Sydney. <laughs> Ever find a candle hoard? I have. In fact, we've got one woman who uh, has tens of thousands of Scentsy waxes. Her entire living room is almost uh, is almost filled with just Scentsy stuff. She buys literally every product they put out. Oh yeah, microfiber is definitely the way to go on. Almost everything now. I use microfiber on everything. Yeah, candles can get out of hand. Um, it can get out of handles because <laughs> it can't. I'm right. Um, but yeah, they've. I get a lot of them that buy scented candles in order to mask the smell of their house because they know that it's got that hoarding smell to it. And then... The thing is, once you get the house clean, the smell goes away, and now it just smells like a candle store. I used to be not super bad with candles, but a little bit. Um, but over like the time that my migraines have gotten bad enough to where I can't even burn, burn anything anymore, which is a bummer. Man, I'm going to have to take some ibuprofen or something. That shoulder is getting nasty. I'm going to put some stuff on that. Yeah, I may have to do that later. So one thing you have to be careful with in burning candles is you can't see it while it's going, especially scented candles. But they put out a black soot that over time will actually stain your walls. So there's a couple of episodes of like uh, deep cleaning type YouTube channels that will wipe across the wall with a magic eraser and the wall looked white before they wiped it, and then you realize the walls are actually a deep gray because of the black candle soot. Scent pot. Band name, I call it. <laughs> yeah, Ellie, my shoulders are have been bad for a while. Um, there's not a lot I can do about it. I just need to get up and walk around and loosen up. Dead animals, I have. I've found a, a dead raccoon in one that was had been there long enough to where it was just hair and bones. Lots of uh, birds and mice. I didn't get an MRI because it actually healed on its own. The, what I've got right now in my right shoulder is just I've been sitting in the same position too long, so it gets stiff. I mean, I'm 49, so I've just got stiff muscles. We use a uh, thing called a lily brush for pet hair, uh, and I think we've had a couple of videos on here that have shown how it work, but they're great because um, Dakota sheds a lot and Beans is a Maine Coon, so he also sheds a lot, and yeah, those are great. And lily brush. My back sheds a lot, too. Good. This couch is 90% back hair. Actually, I've got a lily brush. I'll bring one in and show you what they look like. Um, when we vacuum... Not so much now, but when, like, we would vacuum, a lot of times the vacuum would be, like, purple or pink from my hair, too. So, <laughs> we all shed. So, that is a lily brush. And this stuff right up here is kind of like a rubber. It's almost like a squeegee. And so, it, like, grabs the hair and pulls it with it. Yeah, I said it on the last live. I'll say it on this live, too. Whoever corrected Ari Katarina's use of the word squeegee to its correct use of squeegee, we hate you. <laughs> you should have let you not corrected and let her continue saying squeegee. Yeah. 
yeah, it trashes. It's even funnier without the when she does it without the sh. So she says trashes. What's up, Kyle? Yeah, so, um, is that Regenerator? Um, I have a lot of fans in Brazil, which I think is super cool. It kind of makes me want to learn Portuguese. But um, I ran into that a lot where they don't have the same products. I may do some research soon to find comparable products so that you guys can find what I have, uh, what I use in my stuff. I am, I'd say, balding. Um, I got a high hairline, so I do weird things with my hair. I will grow it out to where it'll be like this long all the way around, and then out of the blue, I'll be like, I want to shave all this off. So I'll just shave myself completely bald. And now I'm kind of in between, do I want to continue buzzing it, which is what I do now. I buzz it back to the scalp, or do I want to grow it back out again? So there's one video in the maggot kitchen that I did the biohazard kitchen where I mentioned that I was the punk cleaner because you could see my hair sticking out the back. That was all bangs. So I had the sides and the back shaved and then I had hair that went up like this. If you ever watch wrestling, it's like Daniel Bryan's hair um, forever or pretty much every wrestler's yeah. hair. Um, and I didn't do it because of wrestling. I just liked the style. Um, and it was super long. My bangs came down to about here and I just slick it back. Now, it wasn't a mullet. It was like shaved all the way around. So it was even the back was shaved. Potato, to 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 $10. Thank you. By the way, uh, thank you for the motivation um, video to do something we're putting off. Oh, yeah, that was a big one I wanted to do. Definitely. Yeah. Did a big idea project, shared it and literally got calls about how helpful it was. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. That was, you know what, I made that video more for me than anybody because I kept putting off things in my own life. And I was like, all right, if you keep putting this at the bottom of your priority list, it's always going to stay at the bottom of your priority list. So I finally said, okay, this is now, if, if in the past I said I'll do that later, it's now later. It's time to do the thing. So Kirby vacuum cleaners, yeah, they're pretty good. They can be a little on the expensive side, but they're worth it. Woodstock, Illinois. I've been up there before. Am I ever going to New York? Emily goes there occasionally for a vacation. I am terrified of the idea of going to New York. I haven't been there in a while. Um, I used to go to... Coney Island for the Mermaid Parade, like, obviously, um, in June, I think it was, um, but my friend who used to live in Brooklyn now lives in Buffalo, so, especially, like, since COVID happened, I have not, I haven't been back, um, which is kind of a bummer, but also, that's a lot of people. What's up, Carrie? Melbourne is a place where we're definitely considering going at some point. I think upstate New York would be cool. Yeah, see, my my thing is I'm I don't like big cities, <clears throat> even though I know I'm going to have to go to them to do some of these cleanings. But it's the people and the noises and the cars and the just the the sound that comes with a city. Like right here, um, we we live by a train track, so we have to put up with trains. But such a small town, you don't have the sound of traffic. It's just super quiet. In the winter time, it's so quiet you can hear the buzz of the street lights. Best product to use in a very stained tub: try straight bleach. Um, in fact, actually, fill your tub up and put like I don't know a couple cups of bleach in it, and just let it sit there for a couple hours, and then drain it out. Then try. Uh, if that doesn't get it all, rinse it out really well, then use Mr. Clean or actually Barkeeper's Friend and a scouring pad should take care of the rest of it. 
Yeah, one of the things that I've actually started doing um, when I'm shopping, because I get overstimulated when I'm shopping, is I will put my headphones on um, and listen to something, uh, which helps quite a bit. If I get overstimulated, like if I'm at Kohl's, I'll just dance. I'll just <laughs> dance it out. And in fact, I'll, I'll have a dance challenge with someone and dance battle them, like from breaking. I grew up in Minneapolis, so that's, it's frustrating for me to drive in now, but like when I took my driving test, the instructor, and I'd never driven before, took me like down the interstate and into downtown Minneapolis during rush hour, which like, thanks bud. Patty, I've never removed rust stains from towels. I mean, if mine get really bad, I just buy new ones, but you may want to try OxyClean. That may actually help a lot. Also, sneak vape. <laughs> Blueberry. It's not that kind of vape cat skill. <laughs> That's the kind Emily does. I don't. I am what I believe to be allergic to weed. I, I can't do it. It messes me up too much. It gives me a massive headache. And so I tried it when I was younger and everybody was like, well, you can check you know, different strains. And it's like, no, man, I, I grew up a normal teenager. I tried every strain you can imagine. It just messes me up. It makes me really sick. Yeah. He gets nauseous. It's a bummer. Cause I think it like he has issues sleeping and it, it helped when he was doing that, but it was making him sick. So we just, he just doesn't do it. So now I just do black tar heroin. <laughs> he does not do black tar heroin. <laughs> oh <guys>. yeah. <laughs> Riding the smack train. <laughs> Carol, I've been having that issue lately, um, and I just got some uh, roasted edamame beans, which are, like, super good, and some, like, puff bean things that are a little spicy, but it's healthier than chips. Um, I'm just trying to kind of, when I get the munchies, I'm just trying to make them not super bad. <laughs> No, he's tried it recently. I mean, not like recently, recently, but it's it's legal where we are, um, and he's tried it since it's been legal, and it doesn't matter if it's a gummy or a vape or the flower. It just it just doesn't happen. Uh, Happy, you can use Murphy's oil soap to clean wooden cabinet doors, but I typically, instead of mixing up a, a thing of that, I will use Mr. Clean's Clean Freak to get the main cr uh, crud off of it, and then I will... Um, <laughs> I'm trying, good. yeah. Um, I will follow that up with either old English or liquid gold to seal it, and it just looks better with that stuff on it. <laughs> Weed to wood, <laughs> <laughs> wood. <laughs> Uh, here's a, a weird, interesting thing about autism. For when I first watched Beavis and Butthead, and they would do the, <sighs> he said wood. I didn't realize they were making boner jokes. <laughs> I, I took it literally. So I thought it was funny because he was just saying that out of the blue and it was so dumb and weird. But I later found out that um, one of the things that autistic people do is take jokes literally. And so I never understood that why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side meant that he was suicidal, that he wanted to cross the road in order to die. Um, I never. I yeah, I didn't okay. know that. So I, um, I just took it as literal, and I never understood why people thought it was funny. Like no one ever thought that joke was funny since like the 1920s. But still, I I took it very literal. Um, yeah, I never thought of it that way until he just said that just now. So my mind's blown. <laughs> yeah, I I've always wondered is like why why is that a joke? I don't understand it. But I understand jokes. I mean, I, I wrote comedy for a very, very long time. So I, I mean, I'm, I, I know how jokes work and I'm, but for that, for, I never understood that one. My favorite is that dumb one that me and Jason did where I did the, why did the monkey fall out of the tree? Cause he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then do that spitting thing. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm going to go grab um, my ibuprofen out of the car and see if that helps with this shoulder real quick. I won't be more in a minute or two. You want that lily brush? <laughs> oh, God. i got to come up with a better setup for the camera and all that. I do it in the, the computer room, but it's like I have bad signal in there as soon as I close the door. Yeah, we really like British humor. Um, and I think it is because it's so dry and slightly dark. They also are really good at making fun of people without making fun of the thing people are. And they always seem very comfortable um, and more, I don't know, progressive than some places are here. Thank you, I'm a big teal person. So I love these. I got these from Zenny. Zenny's dope. Yeah, we've watched the original Office. I like the American one. That's probably one of the few ones I like the American one sooner. I'm not. I appreciate Ricky Gervais, but I'm not a Ricky Gervais person. The best thing that he ever did was um, that travel show. What was that guy that he did the travel show? Um, that was, that was hilarious. Uh, we met through, um, on, I mean, it was online. It was through like mutual friends. We used to have an IRC group, um, back when I, yeah, Carl Pil Pilkington. Yeah. And it was the one where he would go places. That one's amazing. Um, but we, we were just on like a group Skype call, um, and we were talking with like 20 other people um and then it just be kind of came like we just kept talking and we were friends at first i was living in oregon he was in illinois um and i was going through i had a pituitary adenoma which is a tumor um and so i was going through that and i wasn't working um and he was he just really became my best friend uh very quickly and um do you need your key? Oh, you already got it. He was fast. Um, so yeah, we just talked. We talked for, I think we met in, like met in the fall. And then um, we never, we didn't meet in person until the following summer. We've been married since 2012. So it's been 11, it'll be 11 years in August. <laughs> yeah, we like Monty Python. Okay, we'll do some hardcore drugs on the stream right now. Ah. He's been kicked over the camera. It was not, it wasn't cancerous. It was just a tumor. It was not cancerous. Um, and they didn't, they went through my nose when they removed it. So it wasn't like a big, um, you know, they didn't have to like slice my head open or anything like that. But the funny thing was I actually had to have the surgery on Mac's birthday. Later, Ms. Purple. No, I try and keep up with dishes daily, um, which is not a thing that has happened this week. Um, but we just generally kind of keep up with some of the basic stuff daily. I mean, to be fair, we spent one day with this shirt. We went out to get specifically this shirt. Yeah. And then we spent the rest of the day basically admiring the shirt from afar. One of the things I'm going to be attempting to do in the very near future is translating my videos. I want to try to find a translator for uh, Spanish and Portuguese. So I'm hoping that I can find some trustworthy person to do that. I don't want to like hire somebody and then find out they're just... Actually, that would be funny. Hire somebody and then find out they're basically talking about me the way I talk about Jason, except in <laughs> Portuguese.
We're hoping to do, um, we have a client in a town nearby. It's about an hour and a half away. We're hoping to do that next weekend. <laughs> I don't know, but I need to learn it. <laughs> for people watching this in the future, and they said, what is Spanish for filth? And I'm going to have to learn it now. I'm sure somebody in here knows the Spanish for filth. I think it's Jason. <laughs> yeah, song. Hey, that's where I'm from, Lewis. Or that was one. I, I mean, that's where I spent my high school years. It's Maple Grove. Rufus. <laughs> Filpo. Yeah, Rufus keeps popping up because he's like, I keep hearing my name. <laughs> I'm talking about my tattoo. See you, Joe. Yeah, if anybody is on TikTok, um, I do lives over there too, just basically whenever I get bored. Um, <laughs> also, if anybody is in here who hasn't subscribed yet, we're uh, closing in on a quarter of a million subscribers. If you could hit subscribe, that would be cool. Have a good one, Yvonne. Her last name is B. <laughs> Yvonne B. I haven't seen other male cleaners, have you? Anyone else? Uh, not that I know of. Um, Dina, I am considering starting a Discord um, for the channel. I mean, it. I know it would be... I'm not big on Discord because I always forget that it exists. But I'm considering doing that so that people can keep in contact with each other. Here's the only reason I haven't done it yet. I've been in a lot of communities on the internet since the internet's inception. And eventually, thank you, Ann. Ann slapped down 1999 right in our faces. Eventually they break down. Somebody gets mad, somebody gets weird. Um, small arguments eventually always break out and there ends up being just, a, just catty fighting. And I've never seen a community that didn't have that problem eventually. And so I'm hesitant to do it. It, it may take a couple years for it to happen, but it, it always happens. Then I have to find out where they live and I show up and I have to tell them, you stop it. You stop that. No, is it no hento or no gento? We are MST3K fans, absolutely for sure. Don't you ever breathe loud. <laughs> That's not far from the truth, Stitch. I'm just kidding. But we, uh, we've we always agreed that Max had a fine ass. And <laughs> if he wants to show it off on camera, I am comfortable with that. Tom Servo is awesome. I always pretend like the song Gypsy by Fleetwood Mac is about Gypsy from MST3K. Rufus, we're eventually going to do a t-shirt with all those names on it. So the idea is that the front of it's going to have all of us who work for the company uh, pose like we're in like a Christian rock band where we're all in different perspectives and looking different directions. And then on the back, instead of tour dates, it'll be all the stupid names I've come up with for the videos. Hi, Danny. We've got a ton of people from Brazil. We haven't been in a place that has, uh, we've been in roach houses, um, not so much bed bug houses. Uh, I am really paranoid about bed bugs. I've had them as a teenager and they're really difficult to get rid of. Um, so Mac is just vigilant about what he's wearing and if he feels the need to like take something off. A lot of times he'll take something off immediately and just start washing it if it's that type of house. What's up? <laughs> hey, John from Riverside, California. 
Um, do I ever do pictures for sale? I used to, and I was making pretty decent money off of it, but it wasn't um, steady money. It wasn't like safety money. So I would sell a whole bunch of portraits all back to back and make a couple thousand dollars and then nothing for like a month. Um, <laughs> so I, I've never counted on artwork for money. That's actually one of the reasons I started this, um, is I wanted stability. That's the word I was looking for. That's my wife. My daughter was in here earlier. Just price gouge. <laughs> it's hard in this area because the amount that the, that you should be selling those, those works for people can't afford around here. My name is Mud. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Starving. Thank you for the donation earlier. Be safe up there. Hopefully you're not in, in, in the fires. Now, Emily and I don't have kids. We made the decision early to not have any because I'd already had three. And I didn't want to be 70 by the time my last kid got out of high school. <laughs> I didn't want to be like retirement age, so... I'm very comfortable with not being a 24 seven parent. I love, I mean, that doesn't, I love the kids, but yeah, I'm comfortable with how our life has been. Missy, I changed my names at the beginning of the videos just as a running joke. It's just funny. Now there's one joke that I make all the time that ended up backfiring on me and still backfires to this day. And that is whenever I say I am fill in the blank Johnny from fill in the blank city. So they call me clock reading Johnny back in Wisconsin or back in Milwaukee. The way that backfires is people only see one or two videos. So they think I'm from Milwaukee. And so I get a lot of messages saying, Hey, I'm, I'm only 20 minutes outside of Milwaukee. Can you help me? Then I had to explain that, no, that's a joke. And so I started changing the name of the city every time, but then I forget that people a lot of times only watch one video of mine just because it came across their, you know, recommendation page or whatever. You know those videos where somebody will be trying to drum up subscriptions and they'll say something like, um, hey, just so you know, only 5% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So everybody please hit the subscribe button. My channel is one of the rarities where more than 30% of the people who watch my videos are already subscribed. And when I tell that to other YouTubers, it blows their mind. I am in South Central Illinois. So we're quite a ways from Wisconsin. I was in Wisconsin last week, though. It was great. Thank you for having Wisconsin there. Yeah, Vicky, 30% is actually really, really high for YouTube. Normally for people, um, most of their channel's traffic will be about 5% or under will be subscribed and 95 plus percent will be not subscribed. We're working on Amazon store. Um, that was part of the reason we were looking at the church was to have a building to be able to sell things out of. So it's kind of like cart horse situation right now where we're trying to get a bunch of things kind of have to fall in place before we get it done. But it, we're working on it. Yeah, and what I'm considering is not going through Amazon. What I'm considering is starting up an actual store uh, through like say Squarespace or something like that that's easy to manage and maybe um, hook in a Shopify store and just ship the stuff out ourselves. That way I can reduce the price of the stuff and it wouldn't be ridiculous. Don't you ever grumble. <laughs> Don't you ever dog grumble with your dr your dog face. You have to smile. Oh, okay. All right, thanks. Hi, Debbie Williams from Minnesota. An NTE pup. Welcome to our weird cult. <laughs> Everyone in town's been really supportive. Um, we have a fantastic person who runs our Chamber of Commerce. Um, she's one of our really good friends, and she's been incredibly supportive and encouraging and has shared, uh, shared our post and shared everything that Mac's been doing. Um, he's given talks to the high school about his success, um, and it's, 
one of the cool things about living in a small town is everyone has been very supportive. Stitch and button, welcome to also do a weird cult. We'll send you out your weird robe and your weird haircut soon so you can match all of us. Uh, Bear, <clears throat> um, is there a chore that one of you refuses to do? We don't refuse to, but I hate dishes, so Emily does dishes. She hates laundry, so I do laundry. Yeah, it's really important to have those conversations with somebody you live with. And instead of suffering through a thing that you don't like to do, just be like, hey, I'll do this all the time if you do that all the time. And if one of us is burned out, um, he will go, you know, he's done the dishes for me before. I've done laundry for him before. So it's not always a constant, but it's generally pretty constant. Hey, Clementine, you're super awesome. <laughs> Clementine's <laughs> been around for a while, too. Hi, Clementine. <laughs> That's great. Clementine. Joseph and Marissa, hi. Go clean your rooms. Yeah, go clean your room. You do not want a spin kick. You'll feel it through the video. You'll feel better when your rooms are clean, too. <laughs> The key to executing the perfect spin kick. Man, you either have that or you don't. You're born with that. Hi, Bedford, New Hampshire. Hi, JJ from Bedford, New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Buying the... So, Suzanne, here's a, a little tip on the alcohol stuff. If you're wanting to sanitize make it strong but if you're just wanting to regular everyday clean like maybe mix up a second bottle that only has uh maybe 30 percent of the bottle or even less with alcohol and the rest with water because with that alcohol it doesn't take much at all to clean with and to shine with but the sanitization part i i really only use the sanitizing part of it like maybe once a month it doesn't really need it all that often or if i'm cleaning up a big mess that's got a bunch of food and stuff on it I don't have a nickname for the subscribers because I always found that a bit annoying. Oh, man. Thanks, Powell. I saw your comment for my hair, too. Thank you. I appreciate it. We met online. Short story. We met online through friends. We became friends first, which was important, I think, for a relationship before the other stuff gets involved. Frank, come here. Come here and say hi. Bring your fat over here. Frank. Good kitty. Yes, Jason is going to set up his own YouTube channel. I need to get on him to where... Let me give you the same advice I gave him. If you ever thought about doing a YouTube channel, even if it's not for money or anything like that, make the channel. That's like your first step. People put it off for so long. Just make the channel come up with a name for it. You can worry about the avatar and the content and all that stuff later. Just get the channel set up. It's such a motivator once you do it uh, because you're going to find that there's some features you don't have access to right away. And like you can't get monetized until you have so many subscribers and so much watch time and all that. Um, but Jason's channel is going to be a gaming channel because it's, I told him I wouldn't do a cleaning channel because you already have access to that through here. But I do the thing that you like doing anyway. If you've got a hobby that you already do, film yourself doing that hobby and it won't feel like work. Frank and Beans are not litter mates. We had Beans first. His rescue name was actually Bear, but I had a dog named Bear when I grew up, so I thought that was weird. And Beans have just always been an inside joke between Mac and I, so that stuck. And then um, Frank is, I love giving my cats ridiculous names like Rufus. We had a Vincent who had FIP. Um, Mac named Dusty because he's light colored. And then Frank is Francis. So he's Francis the cat. And he just goes by Frankie for short. I was trying to remember that earlier. It was after an artist, right? Francis? Oh, Vinny. Um, so we oh, had, Vinny yeah. was, yeah. Vinny was orange, because uh, I heart my orange cat, and he had his ear tipped um, from T, it was a TNR program, um, so I named him Vincent Catgo. 
And then occasionally I would call him Vincent McMahon because we're nerds. I apologize if I'm getting questions that haven't been answered. They go by really quick on this channel. So <clears throat> I'm totally fine if you ask the question again. Just kind of space them out. That way I can... What's the hardest food to get clean off a of surface? Anything sugary. So uh, syrup, maple syrup that's sat too long is really difficult. Or uh, anything that's burnt onto a stove. Gravy is really hard to, to clean off. Uh, we use litter boxes. I want the egg robot, but we don't have one yet. Yeah, so the slow mode for chat, I looked it up. The only thing that they've got here that I've seen is um, it's a feature that limits how much the users can post within a certain set amount of seconds. And that doesn't really help for what we're doing. I've never done soldering, but um, I just get my... I, the last hot glue gun I bought was from Joann's, and it was just one that and you could do the thick, um, the thick glue sticks with. When my kids were young, how did the we deal with the constant mess? So I would just pick up after them for a long time, but once they got to a certain age, I made them clean. So I would come in, and if it, if it was messy, I'd just say, everybody, stop what you're doing, clean your room, and they just did it. I mean, I, it doesn't hurt that I'm tall, and I've got a deep voice, and I'm a dad. It's different when a mom tries to make them do it. They, kids naturally, for whatever reason, just don't listen to their moms as much as they do their dads. How do you clear off sticky stuff like glue? If it's still sticky, there's a product called Goo Gone that is really good for that. If it's dried, try a razor scraper to pop it off. Um, if it's not terribly sticky, you can use my APC because uh, rubbing alcohol actually uh, dissolves sticky stuff. We also, um, when we had them clean, when they had the kids clean, we'd call it pause time. And I don't know if it helped make it a certain thing, but we could just say, hey guys, it's pause time. And they knew like, okay, we've got to, you know, pause our shows, pause our games. I was wondering what you do when a client asks you to use natural eco products <clears throat> and the item you need to clean needs easy off or CLR, CL, CLR or Lysol. If it is stained in stuff, you can possibly get that out with vinegar or baking soda. That's kind of like the one-two punch. Um, my APC, I consider to be natural, so I explain that to them and they're usually good with it. A lot of stuff that needs some heavy lifting, you can just soak for a while. So if it's sticky syrup or something, you could literally clean that with water. It just takes a long time for it to soak in and soften it up. Have a good week. I'm Richie. Richie. The filth shirt has way outsold the Team Jason shirts. Mm -hmm. Peroxide's really good, too, on stuff. Um, peroxide's very good at cleaning carpets because it typically doesn't bleach things out. devil's lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> I do, not Mac. It's legal here. Aprons? I'd like to do some aprons in the merch store if they don't already offer them. I mean, they offer so many things you can put that stuff on. I don't think they do aprons, but that's something that I will look into. Cause there are a few things that we're looking into doing that I'm not sure T Public offers. Um, so we will look into that when we start doing like our Squarespace sort of deal. Oh, uh, glue sticks. Is that like? They have glue. Glue stick. Glue kicks. <laughs> uh, anyway, that name. <laughs> um, I'm glad we have a lot of people. It's one of the reasons that I talk about uh, mental health so much on the channel because we've both been through it. Uh, our whole family's been through it. Mm -hmm. And I wanted people to know it's not insurmountable. But I'm glad you're you're getting there. I think that movement by itself is a really good uh, help when it comes to depression. One of the tips that um, I kind of would roll my eyes at until Mac said it to me, um, and one of the things that helps tremendously is get up and open your curtains, like get light in your house. That is just going 
Like you're not going to feel it immediately, but getting that light in your house is just going to open your eyes to, I mean, it's, it's going to start making you feel better. Uh, Chloe's mom, yes, likely the next one's going to be a hoarder house. She said that her family and friends call her a hoarder. She doesn't think so, but that's usually, that's usually what I hear. I didn't know you, you, you vape? <laughs> what? Sneak vape. It's outrageous. Yeah, I know he vapes. The Roomba, um, so I can answer this for him. Many houses that he's cleaned has Roombas and nobody uses them. Um, I've heard of people that have them that work well for like light things in very specific rooms, but a lot of, uh, we see a lot of rainbow vacuums too. Um, which are, that's a big money sink, uh, and they just don't get used. Yeah. Almost every Roomba that I've seen has been unplugged, and it makes me laugh every time I have to dust a Roomba. Yeah. It's good to meet you too, Zombert. Heather, we're out in southern Indiana. I used to be my old stomping grounds when I was a youngin'. die off of bathroom counters you're gonna have to look that one up on youtube because the color of the dye actually depicts what cleaner that you use so like blue dye needs a different cleaner than red dye if it in general hydrogen peroxide um, would be what most people use also heather evansville is was my old stomping grounds i grew up outside i grew up on the illinois st side just outside of vincennes and then all the people from my town would go from my town to Vincennes, and all the people from Vincennes would go to Evansville. And so Evansville is kind of when we wanted to go to a shopping mall or go to a good movie theater, we'd go there. Um, another thing with dye, if it's hair dye, a lot of... Okay, Zombert, my cat's name was Rufus, too, so that's really creepy. Um, but if it's hair dye, a lot of lines will have their own specific dye remover. Um, one I know that works very, very well is a Lumen's dye remover. Um, I think it's just called Clean, a Lumen Clean. Um, and those work really well. But you have to keep, uh, if you spill hair dye, keep it wet until you can clean it up. Like keep putting water on it because once it dries, it's way worse. Cleo, I've got a good friend who has Asperger's. I'm having romantic feelings. How should I proceed? That You're in a very good situation. Because people with Asperger's like to be told directly. Just tell them straight up directly. And if they're interested, they're interested. And if they're not, they'll tell you. Um, it's very input-output. <laughs> so um, they, as far as I know, Asperger's people don't typically panic in situations like that. Um, Sham... Do you need to dilute hydrogen peroxide? In my experience, no. What are your thoughts on Barbie moving to Spain? I think she needs to get out of New York. I think she's in a situation where it's far too expensive for her to live. And if she can go to Spain and continue doing what she's doing right now, I think that would benefit her. But she, I mean, she's living in one of the more expensive cities to live in the world right now, and it's just not feasible. Yeah, I'd like to meet her before she moves. I'd really like to fly her and her family down here and just pick out a couple houses to do. Um, let them stay at the house and cook them some, like, American junk food <laughs> and grill out. But I don't see it in the cards right now, but uh, it'd be cool to meet her. Another thing with Roombas is if you have clutter on your floor, they're not going to work. And I think that's a lot of reason. You, if you're good at maintaining the clutter off your floor, the Roombas could be perfect for you. I'll make anyone soup. I'll make all the people soup. I was telling them how much I like to cook soup. Cindy, what state do you live in? Denial. hi <laughs> No, South Central Illinois. Jason give as good as he gets he does he can't straight face though he can't be yeah. yeah he will giggle when he when he's telling you off but it's that's why it's so fun to pick on him or tease him because he he doesn't care yeah if we're doing like a 
it's rare that I ever shoot like a pre-rehearsed scene unless it's for TikTok. And so anytime I'm doing that with Jason, he's um, very difficult to get on camera because he smiles or laughs. I think if you, your kids haven't made you cry, you're, I don't know, I wouldn't say you're not a real parent, but I think that's just, that's just life. The, the one time Jason made me parent, or cry as a parent was when he took the car for the first time to go to prom after party, and that's, I mean, he didn't do it, I guess, but. How did the channel grow so fast? Um, I made it for myself. And I did videos that I wanted to see. And then it turns out there's a lot of people like me. So I never, ever did the channel with an audience in mind in the beginning. And so one of the things that I think made the channel grow was almost the shock value of some of the places that I clean. But I combine it with information that's actually helpful. Uh, so some of that would be telling people how I'm doing things and what I'm doing. And then the other part is talking about the actual mental health aspect, but not talking out my butt, you know, just <laughs> talking about things that I have studied and researched and know to be true. Yeah, uh, Traveler, I've talked to Eric from Eric uh, Outdoors with Eric, too. Uh, the thing is finding time to get with him. Um, we actually, he's actually got my telephone or my cell phone number. We've actually talked over text. No, we have a landline still. He has a landline <laughs> <Yeah>. number. <laughs> There's a carpet cleaner we watch that dresses up his carpet cleaner. It makes me happy. What's a pizza like in Illinois? Chicago pizza is different than the rest of Illinois. We are not really, we love pizza, but we don't have a lot of really good pizza around here. There's one um, pizza place that's not really a chain. It's called Bobes. And theirs I really like, but only the sausage and mushrooms, uh, because I think that they actually, they use real sausage that's not frozen and you can taste the difference. Um, but the best pizza I've ever had wasn't in Chicago. In fact, the worst pizza I've ever had was in Chicago. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, the best pizza I've ever had is a Neapolitan pizza from a place in Austin called Pius. Yeah, Pius is great. Um, I think about Pius sometimes when I really want good pizza. We love Post 10. Um, Post 10 is a definite daily stream here. We'd love post on. Good luck with your storms and your air conditioning in Texas. I've been to the Quad Cities area. Um, it was too much for me. It was just like, um, that, that was back when I was like 19 though. So that would have been like in 93 or something like that. But I haven't been up there in a really long time. Any city that's got double lane roads that go through the middle of it is too much for me. It's the traffic and it's, I like small little tiny towns that have like one or two gas stations and like one grocery store, quiet towns. When we start traveling, um, cause I don't like driving on interstates too. So when we start traveling, we've talked about just taking like the back County, you know, 55 mile an hour roads to get where we're going. It's going to take longer, but that's the way I'd like to see the country versus I mean, everything on the interstate looks the same. Sneak vape. <laughs> There's some other ones up here that were good. Uh, I like pineapple and pepperoni on my pizza. And also Green Mill, that is so funny you bring that up because my favorite teacher in the entire world while he was teaching also worked at Green Mill. But um, that's too chicago -y for me. That's too deep dish. <laughs> yeah, Mountain Rug Cleaning, I think, is who we watch. It's got the yeah, Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. Yeah. The, Kathy, the channel grew so fast because he finally found the right pants to show off his butt. <laughs> um, where do we buy your products? We're getting into that soon, like really, really soon. Um, I just got a big YouTube check. 
Uh, we've got to pay off some bills and pay property taxes on our house. And then I am going to invest money into products, but I have to get a resale license. And then I have to make sure that everything's done the right way with taxes. So we don't get into any trouble. The second we get that paperwork done, then I will open up the shop and give you guys links to that. I will, I know I'll make an actual website for it. So you can actually click order. Mac is such a shoe freak. He is so like, I live in flip flops, occasionally Crocs. And then once it gets cold enough, I switch to boots, but Mac has probably four times the amount of shoes that I do. He's a sneakerhead. If we can ship outside of the U.S., I definitely will. I don't know how that works, though, because some chemicals and stuff like that are uh, restricted on what you can ship out, so I'll have to do the research on that. We um, we told them no on the church. Um, we just kind of killed that off. We were both getting the feeling where it wasn't the right fit, and we were waiting too long for people to make up their minds, so we just felt it wasn't the right time to to get that. What's up, Cheryl? Team Butt. Dina's on Team Butt. I'm also on Team Butt. <laughs> oh, man. Is there a cat tail behind us? Oh, that's the little mouse thing. Oh, yeah. But there is a cat up there. Might be his paw. Yeah, there's Dusty. Uh, Daniel will be on some lives. I gave him the same opportunity I give everybody else on the team. Um, and Daniel, you'll love whenever he gets to talking because he has the most addictive laugh you'll ever hear. Yeah, so the problem with the church was going to be, I would have really liked to have had it because it was huge. And it would have been a really big deal that I would have gotten on the church had they accepted the offer. But I would have had to have dumped like six figures into it in order to get it back to good condition. The roof or roof, depending on where you live, <laughs> um, would have been $40,000 to replace. And I don't want to go into a building and offer them money for it and then have to spend the price of a new building on getting it refurbished and re-renovated. It was a really big space and the space, the kitchen space would have been awesome to do like our Thanksgivings and stuff. In. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was, it was a big space that needed some renovations. It was so big that the front half could have used, I could have used that for the store itself. And then there was a, a second section of the building that could have been used for a break room or a full blown apartment. The back, I could have actually stripped the floor out and poured concrete and used it for like a six car wash bay and done some uh, car detailing. Oh yeah. We had, we have been sticking around 700 pretty consistently the last 45 minutes or so. Yeah, what we'll probably do, we're edging up on three hours. We'll probably take a break here in just a bit, and I'll get my shoulders and stuff loosened up and then come back and do another one. We'd both like to go to the UK. Yeah, we've never been, but we're probably going to go at some point. He's <laughs> talking about pizza. I'm a big reader. I love reading. I just finished um, the I'm Glad My Mom Died book this morning by Jeanette McCurdy. It was fantastic. I hate Crocs, but Emily likes them. Yeah, I uh, unfortunately, I bought a pair of Caved, and I do like them. I like my flip-flops better, though. My dog is snoring. <laughs> well, it, it, if you wear them on your back, the Crocs <laughs> can be bad for your back. It was a really good book. It's very intense. Um, if you have any, you know, family trauma, um, there's a lot of like, I was surprised it didn't have warnings on it about some of the content that was in it. I mean, there's, there's a lot of trauma in it. 
um, I feel for her and what she went through, and it sucks, but yeah, I, that was, it was very well written, she's hilarious. I say roof, and then my relatives say roof. Now I'm trying to say it in my head. Roof? Roof. I haven't read him. I've read a lot of Anne Rule. I like King of the Hill. We don't watch it like, we don't watch it, watch it, but we both appreciate Mike Judge. Snake bear. <laughs> Blueberry. I put so many savings in my coffee, it's probably not coffee anymore. Um, I would put powdered hot chocolate and creamer in my coffee, and I don't actually drink a lot anymore. Um, I mostly do water and occasionally juice. I've not read Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> I say creek. My dad said creek. I like either iced or hot coffee. It depends, obviously, on the um, the weather. I run hot, so I would do generally iced coffee. Um, I do like South Park, but I haven't watched it in a very long time. I think that's one to where if I ever have like a month <laughs> of, <laughs> of nothing, I would just put it on from season one and just play all of them back to back. God, that would take forever. Is it Rex Tenters? Uh, thank you for the $10. Would you be able to come to Brazil and clean my house? It's kind of dusty right now. Joking <laughs> aside, love your channel and the stuff you do with cleaning houses. Keep it up. Thank you. Um, Brazil is actually a place that I would consider coming to once we start traveling, uh, simply because we have so many Brazilian fans. Saskatchewan, did I say that right? Alice, thank you. Um, I don't. I do have both PayPal and Venmo, but um, I, I would much rather just go through YouTube. It, it's honestly easier to do when it comes to taxes. Yeah, I freeze Mac out of all rooms, um, but I can't take off more clothes, so. <laughs> I'm not a fan of either Family Guy or King of the Hill, but if I had to pick one, if, man, I wouldn't watch either. <laughs> I'm just not a fan. I do a mix of real books and Kindle, mainly Kindle, um, and then like real books if I'm reading outside. Um, I mean, just kind of whatever. Mac is Johnny. Johnny Mac. He told me you guys knew his real name, so that's my fault. Uh, next on the cleaning list is going to be a place that's like 90 miles from here. But they've been asking me for a long time if I could help them, and I really hadn't had the opportunity and the means to. And I think we finally have the means to go do it this coming week. So I need to message them and find out if we can set something up, but it's probably going to take me two two days to do it, so we're going to have to get a hotel while we're down there. What's up, Karen? Yeah, we got a lot of German fans, too, which I think is cool. <laughs> Rihanna's still my favorite name that I've done. <laughs> that made me laugh when I saw it. We get wash, wash here. Um... I worked for a car wash chain for a bit doing their social media and the owner would say Warsh. We have, there's a, a gal that we both know um, who doesn't have anything to do with cleaning, but she has come with Mac on like one clean. Yeah. Clean. Rent's way cheaper here than any place, uh, but it, the, than almost any place that I've been to, but only in our rural area. When you get into to bigger towns, it's uh, it's way higher. But like 
I said on another live, we have a four bedroom house that's uh, three levels and like a quarter acre yard, uh, one and a half car garage. And our mortgage for buying the house is only $635 a month. Chris, thank you. Chris slapped a 10 right in our face. Rachel, do it. I am so much in favor of being express yourself however you want to. Hair will grow back, back if it gets damaged. Ooh, I want to do a galaxy themed hair. My shirt's galaxy, but yeah, galaxy themed hair sounds cool. <laughs> Anna Banana. Uh, whenever I go on TikTok, there's a, a person who comes in named Anna Banana and hits me with a bunch of corn <laughs> every time. It, like corns me. Thank you. Is it Intensilon? Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Your your hair got a tip, or your ink got a tip. <laughs> Peggy, thank you. I have mostly gray hair, and I would love to have purple accents. It would be neat. I almost, I almost did the side cut at one point, and I had my stylist. She braided the sides back to see if I would like how it looked. That's when I can't quite pull the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> we do a lot. We'll go do a live on the toilet. It would make people <laughs> feel better. Yeah, it would be nice to be able to. I, if I've got the money, I will replace some of the stuff that's broken in some of the clients' houses. Um, I call them clients, but I mean, technically my clients are from the actual um, business, but I bought small microwaves and stuff like that before for people, coffee makers. Um, I do have an Instagram. Um, it's under the same name, and I've got it linked on my about page here on YouTube. I don't use it a lot. I need to use it more than I do. I basically just take pictures when I'm bored and take pictures myself, like sitting on the deck or on a break. Hi, Mariel. It's nice to see you. Yeah, my shoulders are still sore, but it's not really... The reason my shoulders are sore right now is because I'm leaning forward to read this stuff, and you notice I've got the old man readers on. If I sit back, I can no longer see the words, and my... I watched one of my lives not long ago, and my voice was fine leaning into the phone, but Jason's was not. His was way lower. I've got a boom mic. I could hook it up and actually get better sound on here. But We don't have plans to do, like, wedding renewal or anything. Like, um, if we were to do anything like that, I'd just want to have kind of a big cookout or pizza party with a bunch of friends over, and I don't know that... The renewing the vows needs to be a part of it. <laughs> he actually has contact lenses in. Yeah, so my eyes are so bad that I have contacts to see far away, but they're so powerful that they actually interfere with reading up close. Um, so I have to use readers to see up close and contacts to see far away. My eyes are very, very, very bad. We had issues with the, the scheduled live, Debbie, so I apologize for that. I was trying to get in there and tell people to come over here, but... Uh, we're doing a Jason House video soon-ish, probably when it cools down a little bit more, but we're going to work on his garage. Beans, come here. Come here. Bee -bee. Come on. Jump up. There you go. Good kitty. Now we can finally pick you up and let you see the people. Are you ready for this? Oh, beans. Giant beans. Dakota's sleeping just a few feet that way. What are you grunting for, Beans? Look, look up here. Beans, look, look. That's a you. Look up there. <laughs> I don't know if this will work. 
work. Let me see if I can pull up the picture of him. I see you. Feral. Hi, bud. Bean tail. God, he's got fur all over me now. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually really nice here in Illinois. I've uh, we've got a a small break from the heat, and then it's supposed to get really, really nasty again. There we go. I know, I see you. You're all purry. You dip down again. What are you doing? your chin so you can do an old man face. I was trying to find a picture of Beans and he was feral because he looked absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'm not going to do a Patreon because I've got so much that I do on YouTube that it's just, it would add so much work. So I just do the memberships here, which basically would be the same thing as Patreon. Thanks, Jackie. Jackie said we rock, and we do rock. <laughs> I think she said you guys are the rock. <laughs> You're collectively the rock. Thanks, Heather. Nice. Dishes are like the hurdle. They're like the hump. If you can get past dishes, you're good. No, John, I have to buy my own merchandise. Um, Hilda, if you don't have Barkeeper's Friend, uh, look for Comet. That's pretty good. It's not quite as good as Barkeeper's Friend, but it's still pretty good. If you can't find that, any sort of scouring powder. I think other countries have an Ajax, an Ajax powder that's pretty good. Soft scrub is decent, too. <laughs> yeah, he did hurt the most electrifying shoulder. <laughs> He's still crawling all over me. Beans. Oh, yeah. Beans is absolutely max cat. It's like, done deal. He just immediately started sleeping with Max. Like, when we first got him, Max is his best friend. What are you doing? Get your chin. He loves his chin scratched. Cat live. Beans, do you need a sneak vape? We brush beans. Somebody asked how often does he get a bath and a groom. We brush him uh, at least once a week. Um, he doesn't get a bath, but like he bathes himself. Um, he doesn't have like cleaning issues there. We've had to sometimes we've had to brush chunks of things off of the, his back legs because he's very long haired and sometimes it gets poopy. Should I keep my snapping biting wolf on the top cabinet or under the sink? It's whether you expect your intruders to be tall or short. So I would keep one up top and one down below just in case. All right, we've been here for three hours and almost five minutes. I'm going to take a break and shut down the live um, and then see if I can't get back on here in just a bit. Uh, give us, I don't know, half hour to an hour, something like that. And then we, we will be back on. We're going to do mega lives all day. Yep, we'll be back. Later. Thanks for dropping in. We'll be back in a bit.